Wait, wait, I think I stopped it. Okay. Music. <laughs> All right, anyway. Are we starting with music now? <laughs> well, I, okay, look, oh, I'm so okay. unorganized with this thing. I need to figure it out because I was watching somebody else's stream and they start out and they have like this whole um, intro, like with like video plus music and the whole thing. And then the stream starts and I'm like, oh, oh. Meredith just woke up. <laughs> so this could be fun. Anyway, thank you very much for coming, everyone. Uh, <laughs> so I hope everyone had a great Christmas and is having a great holiday. Hopefully most of you are, are getting that holiday and not having to work too hard. I know some people are working right through. So, you know, uh, best wishes to you guys too. Uh, so today we're going to be drawing one of my favorite characters. This is uh, a character that I desperately wanted to draw when I was at Marvel. And I really never got the chance the whole time I was there. You never drew him? Not once. And so I, for the thumbnail of this video, I um, put up my favorite Ghost Rider by one of my favorite artists, Mark Texiera. I think it's as cool a shot of Ghost Rider he ever did, in my opinion. <coughs> Excuse me, now I'm coughing. And uh, infectious. so yeah, I'm pumped to do this one. And I'm definitely gonna do the Mark Texiera classic Ghost Rider costume. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Here we go. All right. Oh, and uh, before I forget Meredith, I'm switching from my TV. Oh, I might make it. I gotta return this gigantic statue now. That's that nobody can see anyway. And nobody can see and is taking up my T spot. <laughs> it's oh. not in the shot at all. Or it might be. Like, I think I can see a corner of it. Anyway, um, we have a super chat from John C. Thank you very much, John, uh, for four ninety nine, And he says, hi, DM. Thank you so much for getting us all th here through uh, 2020. Well, you know what? Thank you all to all of you guys for getting us through it too. This has been uh, a, a huge difference maker for us, you know, just being able to still connect with all you guys and, mm -hmm. and feel like we're, you know, kind of building something in a time when, uh, you know, things are difficult for, for all of us. So yeah, it's just, it's great to, you know, have the community with you all while we're stuck at home. Uh, and he says, uh, is draw along possible for the future? Uh, catch up pauses book of the week or catch up pauses equal book of the week. I would love to do a draw along. I don't actually really know exactly how I would approach that. I'd have to think about it a little bit. Maybe you guys can kind of, you know, give us some ideas uh, in the chat if, cause I've never done one or seen one. So I'm, I'm really not sure exactly how to approach that, but I think it'd be a lot of fun to do for like a special show, you know, <laughs> she's just glowering at me. This is going to be a long night. <laughs> All right. I'm still trying to wake up. I'm so tired. Why am I so tired? Dave's <clears throat> carrying the show tonight. Yeah, really. SCS Powerlifting has a super chat for $5. Well, SCS thank you, SCS. Is, I hope everybody had a great Christmas and have a happy new year. Let's get dry. <clears throat> Let's do it. Let me switch oh to my, my screen there so I can see what I'm so doing here. Sorry, I'm dying right now. I'm dying. Not good when it's only 8 o'clock and I'm, I'm waking up. And actually, before I start here, let me, I want to show you guys, here is my, uh, you see it there? Yeah. This is my uh, Grinch layout from last week, and this is my Ghost Rider layout. Uh, it's my Ghost Rider layout. Are they pretty... identical? <laughs> They're them? not identical, but <clears throat> my Ghost Rider layout is pretty simple. Honestly, it's garbage there, but I knew what I wanted to do, and I figured I'm wasting my time doing a layout at all. But, you know, I figured, okay, I got a couple of minutes to kill. I also, Henry Jeremick, uh, before I started, I saw that he uh, he wrote a comment and he asked to see some artwork. And so I pulled it out. And so I'm going to show you guys. Utopia says, wake up, Meredith. <laughs> and you rock, Dave. I'm trying. It's not helping. I've got chamomile tea. That should put me right to I was like, can I do this stream in front of the fireplace? It was so cold. I always still got the garbage out. I know you guys are worried about that. Yeah, I saw it. Jimmy actually is in the chat. He, he said, uh, don't forget to put the garbage out. <laughs> so, yeah, thank did you, Jimmy. It? Oh, I did already. I'm oh, like, you put it out already? Yeah, I did. We are on top of it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, what? Who's on top of it? Just so if it's my accomplishment, it's we. If it's right. Meredith, it's <laughs> Meredith. That's not even true. <laughs> not even true. It's any accomplishments my accomplishment. <laughs> there is no we. There's no we. It's all me. There's no we in team. <laughs> you can rearrange the letters to make me. 
All right, super chat from Greg L. Static Art for two dollars. Greg says, "Hey DNM, hope you had a great Christmas. Love this idea Thank of you. doing the um." Oh my gosh, I just could yell my <laughs> idea. I can't. I'm trying so hard. I'm trying so hard. Thank you so much, Greg. It loves the idea of it's doing. It's not the, you. It's me. The draw along. Is... I think the Ghost Rider. Oh, the, okay. Well, the draw along the Ghost Rider. Who knows. Well, uh, okay, for the draw along, I do think it's a great idea. So we will definitely look into it. And for Ghost Rider, uh, you guys have been asking for Ghost Rider for a while. A lot of people have been asking in the chat. I've got my glasses. They're such a mess. Let me just deal with this. It drives me crazy. But oh my gosh, <laughs> we're both. I know. This is a train wreck. <laughs> I said to. I feel like I said you know, maybe right. we want to take a break between Christmas and New Year's. But no. And so for those of you that were here last week. You remember Meredith saying, oh, yeah, let's do it. You remember that, right? I'm not crazy. Totally said that. You totally said that. I can't remember anything. I can't even remember what I had for breakfast. John C. says, Meredith, Irish breakfast tea. Now, the problem is, John, that if I drank caffeinated tea right now, yeah, you I would sleep. be up all night, which is part of the problem that's happening here, is I was up till midnight, and now our child... Our not our child has Everett child, the teenage child <coughs> has messed his sleep schedule up to such an extent that he is now waking up at two in the morning to start streaming. He's sleeping all day, and so I woke up at five thirty to Everett saying, "Let's go." Who's he even streaming to at five? I don't know. There's people all around the world who, you know. Time happens. This is where the world is such a different place. I remember I went to Germany uh, in 2000 and uh, everybody that came up to get something signed, um, we had a translator. And for most people, uh, oh, hey, dream my dream, dream my dreamy. Sorry, dreamy. Oh my gosh. 11. Why? Why? <laughs> hey, I'm Why? trying. It All says right. dreamy, but the kid. Anyway. Nick from Detroit says my Christmas pizza knocked me out cold. You know what? Nick, this is a problem. What do we have for dinner tonight? We had, that's true. We had pizza. We had pizza. And I just ate the cheese. I didn't even eat the crust. Really? So I'm like, I'm in a cheese coma. <laughs> cheese coma. I just, sometimes the crust just makes you feel blah. And I gotta be honest. Gluten free crust. I'm kind of feeling it. And I'm, I'm feeling like I, I should probably be Lodi. not eating pizza when we, when we, eat i should probably just have something else because i'm really trying to be a little more healthy no. but you know what new year's is in another what is that like two weeks now what i know everything's happening fast it's new year's is thursday yeah <clears throat> apparently my yawns are super contagious says jordan <coughs> making jordan clark yawn too i'm trying dang it meredith and <laughs> andrew taz Dang it, Mary, they're making me yawn now. I'm trying. I'm sorry. I'll wake up. Is it probably is it... I'm like a slow start. In the morning, I'm like, bam, I'm up and out of bed. We are the total opposite, you and I. Yeah, it's like, not a problem morning... unless you start making me wine be... or wine. Oh, <laughs> also wine. You wine. Wine. You wine. Yawn because uh, I'm the one that's having to actually work here. You're, uh, in the morning you wake up nothing so and know. it takes you forever to get going you realize that these streams are all me having to work and you just you don't do really anything so you know if we were on camera right now i was well you're on camera but if i was on camera right now the look you'd be getting you would be turning to stone oh hey i got that look a minute ago and i didn't even have to do anything you always get that look uh Michael John Sakuri is a super chat for 499. Ascension or Aphrodite 9? Which was your favorite to draw and why? And hey Jordan Seward. He says hey. Um I'm gonna say Aphrodite 9, which is ridiculous considering how short a time I spent on that book. And the reason I loved it so much was because I was really getting into uh Nirasawa uh and some Japanese artists at the time and um, also I got, uh, and this should be a book of the week at some point. Um, but it's, it's a book by Kevin, uh, Kevin, Nolan. I want to say Kevin Nolan. I'm a huge fan. Uh, Mike Mignola. Oh, 
I can't remember the name, but you know what? It'll be my book of the week. It's very, very cool. It's very steampunk, but anyway, I'll I'll have to bring it out at some point. Listen to this. Our child just asked if he could call me. <sighs> hey, one. mom, may I call you? Clueless. Children these days are clueless. Yeah, they are. Clueless. This is a child that lives in this house, currently in this house. And said, hey, can I get a hug before you go down the stream? Just asked if he could call. <laughs> I'm breaking out the skull reference. You're doing that just for Just, cause just for can. visuals. I just because you can. I could draw a skull. Just because you can. But, I mean, it'll be cool to do this way. It actually will be better. Greg L. Static Art wants to know for $2, Dave, will this be Johnny Blaze or Robbie Reyes? Uh, Johnny Blaze and Robbie Reyes is great. Uh... But Johnny Blaze is, is Tex, Mark Texiera. So, you know, Johnny Blaze wins. And don't worry, I'm, I'm kind of copying my skull right now. I'm going to make his eyes bright. But I'm just kind of getting this in. I'm just going to make sure I got I'm, my screen is blipping, blipping again. Jordan Seward Meredith, I'm not yawning. Just wait, Jordan, I'm going to yawn again. Henry Jerry McMahon, did you add rum to your eggnog? No, I drank all my eggnog the other night. I don't add rum to it. I just like it plain. I I decided I wanted to try eggnog this year, and I still never did. Maybe next year. It's good. It's like cinnamony, nutmeggy. If you like nutmeg, you'll like it. I'm sure I'd like it. I just keep not getting around. To I told Isaac it. he wouldn't because I didn't want to share. <laughs> yeah, you actually said the same thing to me. Well, I guess it's working. It did. Other Minds has a super chat for $18.84. I love the, the totally off the wall number. Howdy, Dave and Murdith. On a scale of one to 10, one being pretty bad and 10 being a swift kick to the groin, how bad was Wonder Woman 1984? Are asking us? Yes. I have not seen it yet. I have not seen it yet. I'm afraid to now. Yeah, I've heard that it's gotten mixed reviews. And I mean, I, I certainly hope for the best. Gonna watch it and also we're canada we don't have it for free free like i don't know if we can i'm sure we can get it in canada you have to we don't have it's hbo max is that right i think that's no. right and we don't have hbo well, max. maybe we'll do it through kojiko kojiko might have it yeah but we do need to watch it you know what it's look the yes. fact is good movie or bad movie it's a superhero movie that's coming superhero, out here excuse me rewind Okay, all right. Good movie or bad movie? It's a freaking Wonder Woman movie. Okay, yeah, right. Would you like my rewind sound effect? That was top notch. Yeah. Hollywood man, they're knocking down my door for the voice acting. I'm just gonna fake all that. All right, let's just get started here. Getting bored. I'm the next Howie Mandel. I'm gonna move my microphone so it's gonna creak. Look at that. It didn't. Oh, there it creaked. It did. All right. Okay. Next super chat comes from. See, I'm I'm sort of up now. Uh, uh, sort of. So super chat comes. I can't. I can't even. All I I'm gonna get. I just can't. I just this is this is your name now. As far it's like you know when your grandmother calls you like Mary Beth. My this is my version of the bus driver calling me Mary Beth. Hollow Man Jin Boo too. Boo you. I can't even. Hollow Manjimbu 2. Is that right? Hollow Manjimbu 2? You're surely not asking me if that's all right. Or if that's right. I, I don't. I'm, well, your... thank you very much, Hollow Man. I'm not going to try another American. <laughs> I know he even sent me the pronunciation two weeks ago, but this is tired, Mary. He says, this is the Danny Ketch Ghost Rider from the 90s. The decade comics peaked and died, LOL. It's a Danny Catch quote. See, oh, you know what? This is what I get for looking at the pictures. I don't know my lore. You don't. Know, you and talk about like that's pretty basic you know lore. This, here's what's wrong. This is an opportunity on the stream for us to embarrass ourselves <laughs> for our complete and total lack of actual comic knowledge in front of actual people who know stuff about comics. I, I know some things about some things, and then yeah, a lot. You know I really nothing don't. About nothing. Yeah, it's true. I feel bad for not a person. Not a person says there was no eggnog at the store all month. That's not good. Oh, man. Hmm. Not good at all. Gaston 
Magdalena's had a super chat, but the message got retracted. So Gaston, send another message. And thank you. This was for five dollars, so I don't want you to miss whatever it was you wanted to say. So why do they get retracted? Is that like user retracted I don't or know. maybe? Yeah. Zarkel NATO Pants says, I thought Wonder Woman was great, but I can see why some people didn't like it. I find I, I can find a lot to enjoy uh from a movie. If like mm -hmm. Green Lantern, which was arguably it was a bad movie, let's be honest, you know, but I really enjoyed it and I enjoyed it because I actually watched it after like pretty well after <laughs> it had come out and I had heard how bad it was and I didn't want to see it. And next thing you know, I was watching them. I was really kind of enjoying a lot of it just because I, I went in and I thought, OK, it's going to be a bad movie. I'm just going to have fun and enjoy watching it. And uh, yeah, Alame says one woman 84 is flawed, but fun. Don't be afraid. Page one comics. Jimmy Reyes says, I don't, it's, I just call him Jimmy Reyes at this point. Everyone knows who page one is. My, what is my wife Anna's new favorite movie? He wrote that because he wanted to be able to write his wife Anna. <laughs> just kidding. JK Jimmy. <sighs> and congratulations, Jimmy. And Still pretty hopefully new. Hopefully, newlywed life is treating him well. Yep. I'm going to be doing a stream with Jimmy. I think we're going to be doing it this week. Did we talk about this week? If not this week. Certainly. I'm sorry. You don't have time this week. It's already like Monday. <laughs> it's already Monday. I yeah, I say that like that seems crazy, but New Year's Eve is Thursday. There's only two nights. Yeah. And you and I both know the, those nights are gone already. Yeah. Like that. Well. All right. If not this week, then next week. Next week. Anyway, soon. Very soon. Well, and then next week is a busy week, too, because we start our new venture next week. All right. You know what? It's going to happen, Jimmy. You have to t talk to me, not him. And uh, no, talk to me because Meredith is very good at coming up with the reasons why things can't happen. I've learned this. Here we go. Meredith, 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 says Greg. It's Majin Boo. Majin Boo. See, that's it. That's, I knew it was doing it wrong. Ma. Ah. There you go. Majin Boo. Thank you. I need some, I need Greg here every week to tell me how to pronounce things. I can't help it. I'm doing my best. I was asleep at 7.30 on the couch. Lance Boyer says, I always just bought comics to look at the pictures. And this is the problem. This is why Dave buys comics too. Generally, yeah. And I also, I find there was a, a long period when I was really getting into comics that I, I would, I'd go to the comic store, I'd buy art, basically. I mean, I was buying comics from artists that I liked. But then I would get into the story and I'm so busy nowadays that I end up looking at the art. Like I just got uh, Batman. Uh, it's over here, right? 87. Anyway, uh, Batman by uh, Juan Jimenez. I did a cover for it. And so I got some copies from DC and I was looking through the book and it is unbelievable. His artwork is so stunning. Like he's incredible. But uh, I didn't read the story because I, you know, I, I've got a million things that I need to do. And I know that it's a great story. I've been hearing a lot about it and I want to read it couldn't do it, you know, when I was looking at the art. Anyway, said Wonder Woman was a fun movie, but so not a go. good movie. And you it's know what? You it's all you need. That's true. It's all you need. Yeah. Jordan Seward just super chatted us for $5.49. I'm pretty sure he's, it's just an emoji of somebody spitting out a vat of something from their tummy of wine. <laughs> Maybe it's the wine that's made me tired. So I need the tea now. <laughs> well, thank you, Jordan. I appreciate Thanks, it. Jordan. All these emojis. I'm so clueless. Monday. So the week is over. Meredith 2020. Last Master Band. Because I said that the week was all, we're already out of time. Yeah. Oh, this is another care with, yeah, character with chains. This you, is where it's you and your freaking chain characters, man. Michael Johnson Curry has a super chat for four ninety nine. Michael says, "Hey, if I beat you in a foot race, do I get your art powers?" <laughs> uh, yeah, I think you'd win that one. And no comments from you. Nobody wants to see Dave run. That's like uh, America's funniest home video moment. Oh man! And then Michael says, "JK still doing studies. Hope to do some new sample pages soon, and hope to show you in person soon. That'd be awesome." Yeah, it sure would be. I'd like to see 
uh, all of you guys in person at some point, you know, hopefully sooner rather than later. And, and then I can show you the video that I took of Dave running. <laughs> oh, you took a video, did you? Nobody wants, like, that was, so for a while, I used to run. I don't have time right now. Because now, instead of running, I have horses. But and Dave was running with me. You say this as if it was like, I'm pleased, Meredith. Can I run with you? you know? I wanted you to run with me. I asked you to run with me. And, you know, once I made, uh, we made down the street and I stopped laughing. You were good. You're, you're lovely. You're the greatest human being ever. But physical, physical coordination ends, lives and ends in your hands. Like it's in your arms, right? Your feet. I was I was actually just holding back so you didn't feel bad. Is that what it was? Yeah. You, I, because I have your son, remember? Like he's upstairs. <laughs> and that G, that DNA. Oh, that kid runs guy, better than I do. He actually does it. He's not it's bad. It's because your knees go backward. You know what it is? It's your knees. Okay, so there's a... Uh, I, I mean, I want to say a story behind this, but I apparently, according to my mother, have basically like dyslexia. Ah. Uh, but it's like more like motor, you know. Anyway, I've always been bad at sports. <laughs> it's like long story short. But long story short, he's not coordinated. I'm not coordinated. I'm terrible his at coordination sports. Coordination is in his hands. You can draw pretty pictures. Hmm. All right. Hollow Majin Buu. See, I saw it in the chat. I got to say it. Okay, this is a good time. Well, I'm so upbeat and positive. Yeah. To say, hit that like and subscribe button. <laughs> you were definitely a little more low key than last oh week. Oh my gosh! I, I can't, like I'm trying. I'm waking up. I'll be up just in time for the stream to end. <laughs> well, it's going to be a very long one, so you have lots of time. I'm looking around right now for something to throw at you. Should be here till. 11 anyway what was that pencil <laughs> i didn't quite get it over your head into the cam is that what you were trying to do i did throw something at you i can see michael j mccurdy says we should all start running as prep for the soon coming apocalypse you don't have to be fastest you just have to be faster than the guy next well let's all just pray for the slow zombies <laughs> That will be me tonight. I'm the slow zombie. <laughs> Hashtag Finch Block says El Padrino. So, ooh, a lot of people watching. I'll try to wake up. <laughs> yeah, if for this you is... for people who are new to the stream, She's go watch last week's Grinch stream. I had a good time then. She's usually much more annoying than this. I'm much. You like to laugh. You were you were hitting this mute button for my laugh last week. Yeah. It was a hard mute. I, mute. I muted both microphones just to be sure. I have a joy. You muted my joy. <laughs> I did. Awful. All right. Poop Dealer has a question, Dave. What's the most, what's the upcoming DC Marvel movie you're most excited to see? Just uh, curious. Also, hope you have a happy New Year's. Thanks, Poop Dealer. I remember the first time I read Poop Dealer's name, I was like, how do I even say Poop Dealer on the screen? And now it's just like a name, like any other name. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah. And I want to know how the comics come along. Ask him if you started yet. Well, I guess I'm asking, have you started yet? And what's your movie you're most looking forward to? The uh, Thor movie. Okay, yeah, you know That's what? That's the one I'm most looking forward Realistically, to. Realistically, the Thor movie, because you know it's going to be great. It's Chris Hemsworth, all good, all the time. All right. Not because he's handsome. No. Because he's funny. No, no. Yeah, he's funny. That's why he's and plus he's got Loki. Tom is it Tom Huddleston? Right? Huddleston, yeah. He's great too. They is no, they are great. They have such good like comic chemistry. They do. So okay, so for me, it's going to be Batman, the new Batman movie that hopefully will eventually be finished and will come out. Just because any Batman movie, I'm always excited about it. We'll see how it is. I really don't know, but I have high hopes that one. And then uh, just in general, 
I'm looking forward to the Moon Knight show, and I don't even know if that's like a hundred. My pens are, my whiteout pens are almost dead. Are you like Isaac? Did you leave them with the lids off? No, it's just I use them so much. Eventually, they just run out, and uh, yeah, they run out. And so I'm having to go to the fatter one, but then I can't get control. Like, and I'm making a mess. Ah, it's a disaster. I'm gonna save you with a super chat from Anthony. Anthony G. Anthony says for four nine nine. Hey Finches, I'm gonna be podcast recording tonight, so I can't really hang out. Just wanted to send my weekly support. Well, thank you for coming by. And good luck on the podcast. Yeah, no kidding. Good luck. They are easier and harder than they uh, seem, you, you know? Look, I'm not going to lie. You make everything difficult. You you can't just roll with it. You're like, I'm going to stream. And then before you can even start, you have to be like set up like a professional. Yeah, no, I like to do things properly. I think people can respect that. I just roll with it. Yeah. It's all going to be good. I think, you know, you have to go for, it's like a mixture of you want it to be as good as possible. I do. And so I get a little carried away. At the same time, you just, you have to just go for it. So it's funny how like there are certain aspects of our life, like you're driving somewhere and you're just going with it. You may or may not get where you need to go within any kind of allocated time frame, Like, Taking Isaac out to riding lessons, you left half an hour early and showed up half an hour late. Yeah, and it's 20 minutes away. <laughs> I know, that was a disaster. So, And when I drive, I'm like super, like, what's the most efficient, fastest way I have five errands to do? How can I get them all done? I know. Driving the least amount of time. The really, the sad part is when and you say I left half an hour early and I showed up half an hour late. That true. sounds like an exaggeration. That's actual truth. It's it's actual they literal. They called me and said, "Is Isaac coming? Yeah, he's riding less." I'm like, "He's not there yet." And what happened was uh, I didn't go the same way. And okay, so I wasn't paying attention coming out of the city because it's just in the county. I wasn't paying attention, and so I went kind of the as if I was going somewhere else. And then I didn't want to have to backtrack the whole way. So I thought, okay, I can figure it out. Wrong. I could not figure it out. Mm -hmm. And I was in my pickup truck, which doesn't have any kind of high tech features like GPS. And I don't use my phone. Like my phone is dead 100% of the time. So. Uh, True story. Yeah. So yeah, which is great because it doesn't ring. But then it's bad because. When he's lost, he yeah. can't find his way. Yeah, when I'm lost, I am truly lost. Might as well be the seventies, except that you don't even have a map, right? In your glove box, like we used to in the old days. Yeah, people know what a map is. Young people. I was pretty good at reading a map too. You know, if that's a Kenny that Wang, is a life skill. Do you know what a map is? Kenny Wang's young. <laughs> you know what? Maybe Does they never Kenny used a map. a map. I'm sure they know what a map is. Oh, you have Google Maps, though. So. People actually know how to unfold the map and then fold it back up. Oh, come on! Nobody knows how to do that. Uh, speak for yourself. No surprise. By the way, Poop Dealer says, nope, I haven't started yet. LOL, I will, though, soon. All right. There we go. No time like the present. Yeah. Supersonico agrees with me about Chris Hemsworth. Meredith's not into muscles and perfect symmetrical faces. She likes the story. <laughs> right. Yeah, it sounds like he totally believes you. Right. Completely totally. buys into it. Yeah, absolutely. You know what? There's like, honestly, he's doing a Hulk Hogan movie. Yeah. Did you know that? No. There's like, a, there's a line. Like, I feel like there's a balance, right? For me personally. Uh, like what you're like saying is you too think... much muscle. Oh, oh, sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah. No. Yeah. Makes sense. For me personally. Yeah. Yeah, I think it, it gets to be a point where it's like, you know, women can get carried away with, you know, certain like aspects. And, you like know, my makeup, like your makeup. That's right. And men, you know, kind of do the same thing. You think, oh, hey, if, if women like muscles, you know, but there's a <laughs> there's a limit. I think I've hit that. I've struck that balance. Pretty well over here. Right, right. All right, next to let's let's save you with the next super chat. I love you so much. Nick Keys 1050 has a super chat for 499. Nick says, Dave, 
make drawing chains look so easy. Oh, well, thank you very much, Nick. I appreciate it. And thank you for the super chat. Kevin Mandevil is a super chat for $14.99. Kevin says, is David, is there an older character that may have been canceled that you would enjoy bringing back to life to draw? Hey, just like Ghost Rider has been a few times. Hope you guys had a great holiday. Um, Thank you for the super chat. Nighthawk? Who's Nighthawk? He's a character that has not been around since like really the 90s. I, and I'm probably missing. There's Is like a Marvel a, character. Marvel character. Something? There's probably you know something with him that I'm I'm forgetting. But yeah, he hasn't been around a lot. I'd love to do that. I would love to. You know what? It would be a blast. I'd love to do um something with Violator from Spawn. I would love to do Spawn. But my favorite character in Spawn is Violator. You don't even know what I'm talking about. But he's very cool. He's like a I still clown. Like the name Violator. He's an, it's offensive to my female sensibility. He's a bad guy. Well, of course. Not a good guy with a name like Violator. See, there you go. Todd hit it right on the head. He knows what he's doing. Now, I mean, you know, Violator. Maybe Violator's had a series, too. <laughs> I don't know. Everybody knows Kevin, Kenny Wang does not know what a map is. Kenny Wang is just playing along with you now. Past you know? Master Dan says, Cardinal points on a map, and I'm good anywhere. Rich Ware says you mean Atlas. An Atlas is different from a map. An Atlas comes in a book. A map is folded up and sits in the glove box of your car. Uh, okay. Yeah, I know how I fold a map. Into a ball. Ooh, after you tear it into little pieces. Uh, I don't tear it into pieces. But yeah, no, I, that is... A, and I didn't mind folding a map into a ball because anytime I ever use a map, it's because I would be traveling somewhere. If it's local, I'll just, I'll be lost until I find it. That's fine. But if I'm traveling, I will use a map. I made it all the way across the States into Canada a couple of times. Anyway, um, but once I get there, I just throw it out. And then I just end up having to buy a new one. It's easier than folding a map. Yep. Kind of have nostalgia for those days a little bit. The days when you would drive across the country? Um. Yeah, sometimes, sure, but no, like maps and, you know. Well, the old-fashioned days? The old-fashioned days. I was talking to somebody. Okay, you know what? Maybe I wasn't. This is the problem of watching. I watch so much YouTube and so much TV while I'm working. You don't even know what's real anymore. (laughs) You don't know the difference between (laughs) what you've watched on YouTube and reality. That's scary. I don't, but. you. Hello, Isaac. (laughs) I'm your mother speaking. Uh, now I apple and the freaking tree, man. People don't know the life I live. <laughs> now I forgot what Nobody I had like this anecdote. Oh, right. Okay. I'm the I remember one that lives in reality. Hard to... uh, somebody was saying that they wish they could go back to like 1991. You sure that wasn't a conversation you were having. I'm not sure if it was, or if I just saw it, it somewhere. So I don't want to just say it was anyway, whatever it was, because, uh, you know, that was when like modern medicine was, was good. They've made advances, but it was pretty good. So you weren't going to just die of something simple. And, uh, you know, there was TV, but there wasn't like internet and phones and all this stuff. Comics were selling better. Yeah, too bad you weren't in comics. The Earl of Sandwich says, Jinxie says hi from the living room while playing Animal Crossing, which can only lead me to believe that the Earl of Sandwich is your brother-in-law, Ken. Or Max. Or Max. Well, hi, Ken or or Max. Somebody so it, from the family, because Jinxie yeah. is Dave's sister. That's right. Ken is my brother-in-law. Max is my nephew. Family's on the stream. Everybody watch yourself. Because if you didn't need, not that you wouldn't watch yourself anyway, because nobody wants to be banned by Meredith. So, yeah, you wonder she, why. Actually, if you're going to misbehave, tonight might be the night to misbehave. Because Meredith's tired. Yeah, you're too tired. might be too tired to ban somebody. (laughs) Unless it's Kenny Wang. (laughs) It's on a short leash. Kenny Wang. Crayfish Forever has a super chat for $5. Greetings and love from the Cray fam and Happy New Year. I would love to see war from the Darksiders. That would be a lot of fun. Yes, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you again. Yeah, Darksiders is great. That would be a lot of fun, too. I, I really love characters that it all of uh, Joe Mad's characters. They're very 
detail oriented, but they're also just really big and shape oriented, like broad shape oriented. So they're just great designs. A lot of fun. Johnny Cage GP7 says she won't ban us tonight. Can we taunt her with song lyrics? You can. Tonight would be a night to taunt me with song lyrics because I'm tired to sing. sing. It would have to be good to even tempt me. I'm not sure it's possible. I don't know where all my energy. I took two iron pills before I came down, though. I think the problem is I've been taking my iron. I think the problem is that you fell asleep in front of the TV. I did. I try not to fall. Like, it's hard. Once you fall asleep, it's hard to get back up. It is. So, so I wake up hard. grumpy. Anytime I nap, I, yeah, I just wake up grumpy. And I end up doing it a lot. I don't love it. But the fact is that, so I, I've always got deadlines. And I find I just get into a roll. And there are times when I just need to get a page done. And if I'm in a roll, I'm not going to bed. I'm like, I will just work through until I finish. And I don't care if I don't even sleep. And then I just crash the next day because I feel like that's actually less valuable time there's no more valuable time to me than like when I'm really rolling. That time is the best. And so I take advantage. What does that feel like? What does what feel like? When you're rolling. I'm too tired to be rolling anymore. <sighs> you know what it feels like. Hello, Majin Boo says, Dave makes it sound like pre-90s. We lived the Black Death or something. <laughs> okay, you know, 80s too. So, okay, let me just say this. I have asthma. You know, which I'm sure uh, I'm not the only one here <laughs> that does. And uh, so whenever I think about, hey, you know, I'd love to go back in time. I, I think, yeah, I'd love to go back in time to a time when there's good asthma medication. That's all. So there's my criteria. Otherwise, I'd go back to, you know, uh, feudal times and, and try and be a court painter. I've started I've started a an iron supplement chat on the conversation on the chat. Ask Master Dan wants to know if it's fair sulfonate. I don't think it is. It's like a, it's like a, I usually take whatever I can find in the, the health food section, like the organic y section that's got like a probiotic and stuff in it too. Our Jedi Iron Pills. Is Mira trying to become a cyborg or something? <laughs> I'm already a cyborg, our yeah. Jedi. I'm just trying to keep things moving. Technically true. Yeah. Past Master Dan says spirulina. Is a good source of vegetable iron as a supplement. Ooh, I have to add that to my list. Beets also good. Open a can of beets, man. I can't stop. We went for dinner with my parents a few weeks ago, and my dad put out pickled beets. I literally ate every single pickled beet in the tray. Yeah, you're you eat all the pickled beets. I eat all I the. I didn't let olives. anybody even have pickled beets. Yeah, and for the most part, everybody's good with that. I ate all the beets olives. Are, oh, beets are just so good. I just had an eye. An eye twinge. You know when you get like a little sharp eye pain? Yep. Yeah. I'm falling apart, people. Okay, so you know what? I'm going to stop for just a second because I have the book of the week, right? And I know that's coming. Oh, it's too early for book. I'm not doing the book of the week yet. But this is, it's killing me because I've been dying okay. to show this. All right. So Henry Jeremick uh, asked to see uh, some artwork. I was talking about it, it's Jumpa Sema. Um, it's a John Buscema Thor page. It's Thor issue 241, uh, page two. It's a splash page. It's actually cropped just a little bit. I, and I think it's it's cropped because it would have had uh, the credits underneath. So, yeah, this is the page. Let me see if I can. I've got it in. Uh, I don't want to take it out of the plastic. But, yeah, that's the end of it here. Anyway, that's my John Buscema uh, Thor page. I think this one is inked by I think it's Joe Sinnott is what uh, the person that I got it from said. It doesn't say, so I'm not sure, but beautifully brush inked. I mean, it, it's incredible, the kind of cleanliness and this work was done quickly relative to, I mean, certainly relative how fast I'm working. And uh, yeah, it's it's just an amazing page. I was thrilled to get it. And you can really see just how much it's yellowed just by looking at the white out uh, where it is on some of the borders and, and things like, like that stayed white and the page is, is very, very yellowed. It's old now. And on the other side, this is the other page that I got. And this is Wolverine issue 47, page two. And this one actually has, you can see it's got the, um, all the titles glued onto the page at the bottom. I'll just turn this one. You can see it's got, you know, 
lettering on the bottom. Very cool page. John Buscema's Wolverine stuff and Mark Silvestri's Wolverine stuff is really a lot of what got me into comics, you know? So I'm an enormous fan. I was really, really thrilled to get this one. And this one is extra special because this is inked by John Buscema himself. And I hope that I'm not wrong, but that's what I was told. And it looks like, to me, it looks like an artist inking himself. It looks like, I, I believe it. So anyway, yeah, very, very cool stuff. So thank you, Henry, for bringing that up. I really wanted to show this stuff. This is by far and away the coolest and most expensive artwork that I have, this stuff. Meredith really doesn't let me just go out and buy artwork. And I try and say, hey, it's an investment, but she knows me well enough to know that I will never, ever sell it. So it's hard to call something an investment when, you know, it won't get sold. And I, I really wanted to get these framed, but in the new house, we'll frame them. You already told me that the, you're going to be longer tonight with your okay. first rider. All right, all right. Anyway, there it is. Nostalgic No Scope has a super chat for $3.99. Nostalgic says, hello, first time catching a live stream. Welcome, Nostalgic. Yeah, thanks for coming by. Appreciate it. It's not that I don't love you looking at your artwork, honey. But I mean, I could just sleep on the couch. Why do you have, like, looks like you have super chats on your screen that I don't have on mine? What those super chats? The orange things. I don't know what you're looking at Above right the now. the chat, the orange bubbles. Oh, it as if people super chat, it goes up there. And so it shows up there, but it doesn't show. Maybe that, you know, let's see. I'm curious. Okay. I never use this. This is Kevin Mandevil. I don't have. And he says, David, is there an older character that you may have been canceled? See, one. there you go. Oh, so this is in a different color than mine. Okay. Mine are different colors. Yours are all red. It, well, it's StreamYard. That's mm. the StreamYard interface changing things up i it's been i think joe smith says wasn't that marvel comics presents not wolverine you know you might be right because it says issue 47 it does not say what it is so uh shows you what i know but it's john on the wolverine johnny cage you can't tempt me I see what you're doing there. Good job, Groban. <laughs> What's the lyrics? What's the song? You raise me up. <laughs> I do like that song. I know. Yeah, that's a tough one. That's a tough one not to do. I can't uh, sing, and I'm like, I do it. You can't. Oh, you can't sing. <laughs> yeah, I can't run, and, and I can't, you sing. can't sing. I literally can draw. That's it. Good, mad. You're a genius. Look. Uh, well, I don't know about that. When you get genius, God gives you genius, but then he takes from all the other parts to give you the genius. This is not so true. You can't be perfectly balanced. It's not true because... I'm uh, perfectly balanced. Frank Frazetta... But I have no genius. Frank Frazetta was such a good baseball player that he had the option of going pro. Now, I don't know if that's a little bit of fluff, but either way, he was very, very good. He was a great athlete, and he's certainly not the only comic artist that's very good. Jim Lee was going to be a doctor. And for well, all I said know... said Jim Lee was going to be a professional hockey player. I didn't say you're not smart. Johnny Cage. Maybe he was. You don't I'm know. not singing Frank Sinatra either. It is a good song too, though. I'm going backward in the chat. Like, for example, Jordan Seward says beets are a great heart food. You have to ask yourself, do you want to live forever forever and eat beets? Or do you want to live a little, sh you know, shorter life, but you don't have to eat beets? In TM comics, beets are good. I like their groove, but he's saying beets is like beets, the headphones. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not No, beets, a vegetable. I have a feeling he knows. The root fruit. <laughs> the root Wow. <laughs> the root fruit. That's like I'm delirious now. I've already crossed into tired delirium. The root fruit. <laughs> Commander Rand says I can draw bunnies. I can draw a puppy dog. Dave and I were talking about that last night. It's the only thing I could draw. Oh, and now I have a stick figure Wonder Woman I can also draw for people who ask me for a sketch at conventions. You know what? One of these live streams, 
You draw. I'll just sit there and answer questions. How about that? All right. It's going to be a short draw. It's going to be a short live stream that day. <laughs> and then I'll just answer questions. I was going to say we could, you know, Meredith, we have, because I do think we're, we're going to get to 100,000. It's looking like I'm not going to knock on wood right now, but I think we'll get there. And when we do, we'll have uh, a giveaway live stream and maybe, you know, we could have you draw something to give away, but let me talk about. Uh, Corey, I did read DPLA's arts question a few weeks ago. And what was it? He types the same question every week. What was it? What's the question? He wants you to do a stream where you sit down and critique all of your drawings, comic pages, and sketchbooks that you've done. Oh, okay, yeah. ZHC does. But I have read that question. I have read that question before. We keep getting it because I have not said, nobody said yes to it yet. I think I remember, not gonna, yeah. I remember answering that one quite a while ago and I, I'm not against it, you know? Um, I don't know that I'd want to do a whole stream that way though. Here's the thing, right? Some people are great talkers and you can just sit there and listen to them for hours, you know, and that's great. Also, uh, I don't know. Do you really want to sit down and break down your own artwork? I don't mind that. Stream? My problem is that I think that it, it, if I'm not drawing here, uh, there are doing? better things for people to do with their time than listen to me talk. I'm just not a talker. You're, you're, you're here for the pictures, people. Yeah. Like I, I can talk well enough to like talk, but not well enough. Like I'm, you know, not exactly Joe Rogan. Can't even say it. Joe Rogan. Other Minds has a super chat question for $8.88. Other Minds wants to know, I'm looking at those chains and wondering if there are some characters that have a design so tedious to draw, you just dread having to do it. Uh, Iron Man. Iron Man is not... Iron yes, Man. It's not tedious. It's just, not tedious. It's just the costumes always changing. It's that's what it is. The costumes changing. I have to reference it, and that's a headache. But it's not tedious. And actually, once I kind of get comfortable, I'm not looking at reference. I don't mind it at all. The ones that are tedious are like Captain America's uh, chest. Strictly speaking, though, I don't actually mind this kind of tedium because I tend to be a little obsessive and detour oriented and i find i relax when i'm doing that what's harder for me is having like I, i'm not having to think and when i'm sitting and getting work done i'm watching something on tv whatever it is and i'm not having to think that's good times so i don't mind i'll sit there really you know for days and draw that kind of stuff do you have a patience for tedium yeah. like detail i do no i'm gonna brush I feel right. like you move the camera. This one. I don't know. The camera that shows you because I feel like I'm showing up in the stream more often now. Um, you know, maybe. So we recorded some other stuff over the last couple of weeks, and it's it's stuff that, you know, uh we'll have coming up soon and we're very excited about. But in the process of doing that, I keep having to move the camera every time. And so it's difficult to get it exactly set. So yeah, I guess so I'm hidden. I need it like a one of those on blind, you know, those like screens that goes across. Right. The three, everybody had them in university. Well, again, the other cool people did. You're not lit. You're not in focus. You know, I think you're good. Flat Meredith. Flat Meredith. <laughs> yeah, Ronald right. R. Lyon. We're gonna make T-shirts, people. Hi, David Meredith. One positive from 2020. I think has been us. I think, I think that's what is he what he said. said. But he might not be, and now he's asking you for a positive, and now you look like a oh, total one douche. positive twenty. I'll tell you what positive from twenty twenty. Um, this has been a positive. It has been certainly has and been it's for like us. Yeah, us getting to do something different together. Yeah, and we get to hang out on Monday nights. It's part of the stream is us hanging out. And the best part about we have great friends. My mm -hmm. parents moved from six hours away to 16 minutes away. Another huge positive. Brought more animals into our family, children not included. 
We are you not adding more children to the family? Building a new house. We had an amazing 2020, like such a blessed year. Yeah. It's been very, very, very it, fortunate. It's been very stressful too. It has been. You know, with uh, comics, I just, I don't know what to expect in the future. It's scary times. It really is. Conventions are gone. Um, and so, you know, I'm the kind of person that I'm going to look at something like that and say, okay, uh, I don't know what's going to happen. And I just need to take it, you know, uh, give myself some sense of control over it. And that's really why I'm doing YouTube again. Uh, now, granted, I'm not exactly making money from YouTube, but... You know, I feel like I'm I'm at least I squeeze up more ink and now I'm just making a mess. I'm it's giving me some kind of you know feeling That's of control. control. That's right. Miguel Ginner wants to know if you know the other David Finch. There is a David Finch that is a a speaker, and I think he speaks on autism. Now there's other Salad ones. Salad Fingers Creator is named. David Finch. Oh, okay. No, that I don't know. There's a lot of David Finches out there. Surprisingly, there's more than one Meredith Finch. Yeah, I mean, that one. Meredith is an unusual name, as is Finch, to have like more than one Meredith Finch. So be careful who you're tagging in your Twitter and your Instagrams. I think mine is like at Finch Meredith one. The number one. No, I'm not number one. I wasn't number one. I would have had to add a number one. <laughs> That's very true. I know, right? Wisdom. Monday Night Wisdom. I need a new plastic case for my computer. Somebody's been talking about chocolate cake. Now Jimmy's going off to get chocolate cake. Jimmy has chocolate cake? Well, apparently. We don't have chocolate cake. Here yeah, like share, this. man. Are you uploading a tutorial this week? Yeah, oh, yes. Um Totally my fault. I, I mentioned last week's stream what happened with the tutorial, which was a, you know, again, it was totally me. I um, recorded, it. recorded two more, it two more times yeah. without actually recording. Okay, sound. not entirely, but I recorded it without sound. And so I had to do the whole thing again. And then I went through half of it again and realized that while I had the sound interface open, I, look, I, I want to come up with an excuse. I hadn't clicked the sound button. Like the on for sound. So anyway, I had to do the whole thing again. So yeah, it was a lot of work. And that's on top of the just in general, I tend to struggle with some subjects are easier and some subject. So this this time, and this should be up. Uh, uh, Yuri's got it right now. He's working on it. Um, and so it'll be up this week. Uh, and it, it's all about uh, figures in perspective, figures in an environment. And that's something that you guys have been asking about for quite a while. And I've been kind of avoiding, it's like hands. I kind of avoided hands for a bit too, because hands are hard. The hardest thing about hands really, well, in terms of doing a tutorial is, I just can't get my ink off this brush. It's just knowing how to approach a tutorial for hands. Uh, I learned hands not really all at once. It was a, a, a it's like a process of discovery a little bit. I never really found like a, here's the perfect how to draw hand method and all broken down. So, uh, and because hands are so different, depending on the angle that you see them at, depending on the pose, I just, yeah, I didn't know how to approach it. So I avoided that for a while and I ended up, I didn't mess up the sound in that, but I ended up drawing that thing a couple of times. Like I went through that video a couple of times, just trying to get it across. And it was a bit of a similar thing with figures in perspective. I know how to do it. I use some techniques that, uh, and here's the thing, right? I'm doing this for a long, long time and there are cheats, you know, I can estimate pretty well. And so I don't really go around measuring all the time. It's too much work, but in showing how to do it properly, I need to show you how to measure it. And there are times where I'm like, okay, I want to put a figure up on this ledge over here. And then thinking, oh shoot, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> you know, so I'm having to kind of think through. Anyway, it was work. But it's coming. All right. I want to give the impression that I'm like, oh, yes, I know all this stuff very, very well. And I can just totally explain everything. No problem. You don't know it all. No. And it's it, knowing something and knowing how to teach it is another thing, too. And I just I don't know how to teach things a lot of times. For uh, figures in perspective, I actually went to my 
um, uh, Andrew Loomis and looked at some of the things that he was teaching for it, for like an approach of how to explain it. So there's definitely some Andrew Loomis influence in there, just nowhere near as nicely done. It, it, also a very difficult tutorial for me to put out because I want to draw this stuff real time. So you can actually watch me uh, draw it and solve problems in real time instead of just, you know, here's an example of how it's done. I, I just, I don't think that's as helpful. But the downside of that is that the figures are like really the worst. I mean, I, I can't be spending forever on a figure when I'm just trying to place them in a panel. So they're like the worst awful figures. And I'm, I think I apologize like four times in the video that they look so bad, but it is what it is. Sometimes you just do it. You can't break it down. All right. Next super chat comes from Louise Beter for two reals. Hi, David Meredith. Happy Christmas and Jin Sakai Wen. I don't know what that means. Well, happy Christmas. Thank you but very happy much. Happy Christmas. I also don't know what it means, but I appreciate it. Happy Thank you. Happy Christmas. And Brad Scott Art has a super chat for $5. Thank you so much for the super chat, Brad. Dave, have you ever... Ugh, can't talk. Have you ever thought about doing any type of art other than comics? And as usual, Miss Meredith Rocks. Thanks so much, Brad. Yes, thank you, Brad. I have done art other than comics. I've done video game and film design, um, but very little, uh, not that much. And there was a time I was kind of pursuing it just a little bit more. I was thinking about maybe going in that direction. I love video games. I'm a huge fan. But... Um, oh, oh, no, the mic fell. I heard a thunk. That was my chest. <laughs> that was a mic falling on your chest? Yeah. I stop pursuing that kind of stuff because did you hear the rattle because it's empty do you hear chest yeah no heart Ooh. when we play cards mirrors yeah. always got no heart yeah we play a lot of euchre and everybody jokes because you know you you put down a card anyway it's a long story but we joke that she has no heart no heart um right yeah i i found with comics uh there are a few things that i really enjoy about it one is I get to put my name on my work and people see it and it actually goes out there to an audience. That is a really nice thing as opposed to being a little bit more anonymous when you do uh, design work. So just for the sake of my ego, I'd say I like comics. Uh, another major thing is when you're doing design work, you really have to accept the fact that it's not your decision. Um, so you can do the greatest design you've ever done. You love it. It's the best thing. And the art director goes, nope, and moves on to something else. And you have to roll with that. You end up doing multiple versions of the same character. I have a really hard time with that. It's like layouts. Um, I really would love to turn in five different layouts for a cover uh, for, uh, you know, if I'm doing a cover for Marvel or DC or whatever. Uh, and sometimes I do. But for the most part, I spend quite a while on the layout and I try and make it exactly what I want it to be. And then I turn that in. So I put a lot of thought into it and it's, rare that I end up having to uh you're laughing about something in the chat okay Michael, it's sorry, I was just gonna say, yeah, it's rare that I have to make changes it happens but it's pretty rare whereas in in video games or film or whatever it's you know like I, I did designs for <laughs> um what movie was it Watchmen and uh, I had a great time doing it but the design brief that I got was really just have fun with it be creative go crazy well, it's really not what they were looking for. I think ultimately they just wanted to have some comic artists do some artwork for it so they could put it in a book or something. I don't know, lend it some credibility or whatever. But yeah, I did it. John Cassidy, Adam Hughes did some. And I don't know why, because they really gave me nothing to work with. And the stuff that I did ended up being uh, just out there because I was really trying to just go for a really different interpretation. So, you know, I would have preferred to actually, you know, have a shot of working on something that was going to be useful. Vegas David said, I, we're talking, we're back to names on the chat. And Vegas David said, I've always hated the name David kind of because it's so common. Sad. But then what I laughed was when Michael Eamon said, I went to the bathroom for a second. Please don't tell me I missed seeing Meredith. Why God, why? <laughs> and then Vegas David said, I had four other Davids in my high school math class. There was, a, I at least had two Davids in every class. Yeah, there's always a great name, David. When I grew up, my next door neighbor, he was a year younger than me, was named David. And I was Big Dave. He was Little Dave. And uh, 
Yeah, it, I, I hear what you're saying. At the same time, David is not really a name that it's easy to, you know, uh, make fun of. That's right. Like, it doesn't rhyme totally easily with something that... Oh, well, I could come up with something, but I'm going to read Rob Martin's super chat for $20.99 first. <sighs> I can show you how to fold maps. You start at the middle fold and work out from Snowdrift in Gulf to Calgary. Well, thank you very much for the super chat for that. And I'll bet you that would work too. Yeah. Start at the middle fold and work out. That is how you do it? Yeah. Yeah. Huh, look at that. I learned something. And lots of shoveling up in Calgary. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, he's in Calgary. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We got lots of snow. Yeah. We have family in Calgary and we visit in the summer. Kevin, and it's cold then too. Kevin Mandavel has a super chat for four ninety nine. Dave is GR's flaming head. Your primary light source here, or is that treated more as a secondary or tertiary source? I'm treating it as more of a secondary source, so it's going to light up around his head a little bit. For the rest of it, he's just lit from you know, like the sky above, because it's lighting the whole character just from his head. The only way that would really work. Because fire isn't generally as bright as other light sources. Uh, if if you know, you're you have other light sources, it, it would make drawing Ghost Rider incredibly difficult all the time, lighting the whole scene from his head. So I think you got to treat it almost like it doesn't. Oh no, I treat it like it lights, and so that's why I'm keeping his collar light and I'm kind of keeping it open up there. But yes, it's it's not a primary light source for sure, and I, so it would be secondary only because I don't have. I'm really using uh, one light source just kind of generally from above. I'm not doing like a double lighting. And I avoided that specifically because I don't want to, I want to show that he's lit from his head. Uh, and I didn't want to get too complex with the, the shadowing everywhere else and start to fight that. Colin Butler's wife must not be home. Colin says he's currently parenting four kids decided to let them loose on the house while I catch the live stream. Oh, you're going to get it when your wife gets home. Yeah, what movie were we watching? Something where they said, you know... It, home Alone? No, it was a it was one of your... Oh, maybe it was Home... I don't know. Anyways, and they, basically the somebody had to babysit and uh, the mother said, uh, or it was a grandmother, whatever. Anyway, they said, uh, if they're screaming and swearing... And things are crashing around. It's fine. You can ignore it. Oh, that was in the Christmas movie. Yeah, you only have to worry if you and hear the, like a, a, a blood, blood curdling, curdling scream. Yeah. <laughs> they're gonna scream at each other. Or they're gonna yell. You can ignore all of that. If you hear a blood curdling scream, you need to deal with it. It was Shelley Long. That was Shelley Long. What yeah. movie was that? That was one of our Christmas movies. I don't know. I play my video games while you watch those, but that was funny. That was Shelley Long. Good old Shelley Long. And Cheers. All right, I gotta ask this question because whoa, Jack has asked it a few times. And then I'll get to the next super chat. Hi, Dave. How do you draw organic lighting and perspective like Gene Colon? It seemed like he didn't plot anything out or is only Gene Colon because he's asked a few different versions of this question. Is that something only Gene Colon can do? Organic lighting and perspective. Uh, now, can you? is he asking or, organic lighting and perspective? No, organic lighting. Gene Colon, does he do organic lighting? R- read the question again, please. I can't find it. <sighs> okay. Organic lighting, truthfully, I don't really understand what you mean exactly. I will say, I, I certainly see artists that, I mean, I, I see evidence of a light source over here, but then utterly contradicted directly beside it over here, and things can get a... Now, I don't want to say that Gene Colon was doing that, because I don't think so. As far as uh, organic perspective and not using proper perspective, that's actually a lot more common than you think. Um, I, I, I'm going to say that maybe even most experienced comic artists don't really actually pull out perspective um, properly. When I say properly, I don't mean like it's, they're doing it wrong. I just mean, you know, the long way. Uh, I do because I'm a little obsessive, so I can't help it. I have to do it. It drives me bonkers to not do it. I feel like I should but I've had artists laugh at me for that before. I feel like I shouldn't interrupt you, but apparently that biker jacket had a, had a zipper on the right side and not in the center. Is it too late? Side is his right. That would be his right is on over here. Right. Okay. From German Rotini. Well, thank you, German. For nothing. Now that I have to fix it. No, I appreciate it. I'll fix it. All right. Greg L Static Art, two dollars. How would you draw that hand so foreshortened? 
Um, I'm assuming he means this one. How so it would really that? be the arm. Okay, so... Thanks, chat really blipped. I got some extra paper. Actually, what this is, this is part of my drawing perspective. And because, I, anyway, whatever, <laughs> I'll use the back of it. Go into this big long explanation. All right, so uh, his arm is coming down <coughs> like this. Actually, I've got it pointed backwards. So there's his upper arm here. And then his lower arm, if it was lower, like all the way down, it would be like this. If it was a little higher, it would be like this. And I'm going to erase that so I don't have a mess. I wanted it to be quite a bit higher. And so I put the hand, basically, I'm just going to draw the hand like a simple box. There you go. And then what you're going to see here is you're seeing this shape. This is the forearm, the back where it connects to the elbow. And then this would be the wrist. It's smaller. And so that would be the shape of the arm right there. And then the hand, you wouldn't really see the wrist because the hand covers it. And that's really all I did. And then there's the rest of the arm. By the way, it's book of the week time. Is it book of oh it's nine oh six? Yeah. And the chat didn't even tell me. Okay. So I'm pretty pumped about this one. And uh actually it'll give me a little time for the place where I drew the wrong fold on his jacket to Okay. And actually I've got a lot of you know what? Oh, see now I'm starting to act like I don't even have people watching. Like, oh no, I need to fix this. I need to Oh, it's a mess. My whiteout is really giving me trouble right now. It's going to take like four coats, but he needs to have a wider collar if it's going all the way over here. I'm going to have to, we'll get back to that. All right. So this, let me move that before I blot it up, is um, uh, Punisher by Carl Potts and Jim Lee. And I wanted to show this one. I knocked my camera. I wanted to show this one. This is Jim Lee. So obviously this isn't exactly, uh, you know, you guys have never heard of this and this is something new. But I don't know how many of you are familiar with his Punisher work. And it's really interesting work to me. Now, this cover he did, he did actually a little bit later. But the work on the inside, if you look, it says it's Jim Lee finished art, but it's Carl Potts scripts and layouts. And so this is Jim Lee actually uh, inking um, over and finishing. Basically, this is Kevin. This is Jim Lee doing Kevin Nolan, and it's great because there's a, a bit of an interview in the beginning, and he talks about using a crow quill. So I know he was using a crow quill for this, and you know, so I got a lot out of it. But I love this book because uh, this is Jim Lee really working over a more experienced at the time artists' layouts, and I, for the most part, I really don't know just how much change he made. I know that it looks like Jim Lee artwork. It's earlier Jim Lee artwork, but uh, like this hand, I, I assume he probably actually just redrew that and made it more his own. But I'm sure there's a lot of Carl Potts in here, too. And so it actually makes Carl Potts, inevitably, he would have to be a pretty strong influence over Jim Lee, just over his storytelling and over the way he approaches a lot of things just from working with him for so long. The other thing that's really interesting about this for me, and I'm going to try and find a page I should have really bookmarked. This is a good example. Jim Lee was looking at a lot of Kevin Nolan and Kevin Nolan had done Punisher before this and Jim Lee being, you know, absolutely incredible and, and such a genius when he picked up stuff from Kevin Nolan, he could do it as well. And then it still had his own look because he had influence from uh, John Byrne at the time. He actually did Alpha Flight before this and other things. And you could see more John Byrne. And this was like another stage for him. He was using a lot of Kevin Nolan. And so just looking at it and seeing like, where can I kind of pick out the stuff that he kind of picked up from Kevin Nolan and some of the influence in the shapes of the faces, there are some that are, are really, really, to me, apparent where I can really see a lot of Kevin. And now I'm just flipping through trying to find, that's a very Kevin Nolan face right there. And that face is something that you could see in X-Men later on. He used like a lot of the same kind of stuff. Like that one right there, it's, it, there's so much carryover to his own work on X-Men. And uh, it's just, it's interesting to see the evolution for me. I would, this is something I've talked to him a bunch. I've never just sat down and said, hey, you know, how did this work? And how did you learn, you know, from this? And it's a conversation I would love to have because 
Uh, this book I have studied over the years so many times, partly because I love the work and it's incredible, but also partly because it's such a, it's an interesting glimpse into the process for another artist, you know, and just seeing how much he can pick up from other artists and the ways he was incorporating into his own work. And then the evolution from this into his X-Men stuff. So, you know, I think Jim Lee is the biggest, uh, most famous comic artist of all time. Uh, I don't know that that will ever be topped. So he's an absolute legend. And I just thought really for today it would be, you know, kind of cool to see some of his earlier work and some of his evolution that maybe you guys really uh, were not familiar with. I'm sure some of you are. But for those of you that aren't, it's just very, very interesting. There's a shot of Daredevil in here. I really want to. Oh, see, I missed it. I'm going to end up flipping through this all night now. I got to find it. There. That so reminds me of his later work. You can see just the way that he's got the legs. Like there's so much X-Men in there. And that's what's really interesting to me too, is just seeing just how much of his later work was already kind of in place, but just not fully realized. Anyway, phenomenal, phenomenal book. It's a very cool story too, which I actually read, believe it or not, Meredith. And uh, yeah. Speaking of your books of the week. And a Vegas. lot of Zipatone too. Hold on, hold on. Vegas David says he got several books from Marcos Mato Miss. Mester? Mester, yeah. For Christmas, thanks oh, for your that's suggestions. So. Great. Well, I'm glad. I hope that they're useful for you. I know they will be. He is incredible and a great, great teacher. All right. I got a few super chats I haven't read yet. Next super chat comes from Michael Johnson Curry for $5. Of all the characters you've created, which one has turned out to be the most lucrative or career enhancing for you? Insert smiley face. Batman. I didn't create Batman. No. Which were the ones, I guess, which, fair enough. I sort of, I reread that as like, which characters turn out most lucrative. Okay, of the characters that I've drawn that obviously I didn't create, then definitely Batman. Of the characters I created, I would say uh, Aphrodite 9, just because there have been so, uh, this is just, you know, I'm going to have to give it a whole other, really, I need to get more uh, white out. It's turning into a real problem. You add water to it? Uh, there's really nothing I can do with it. I just need to, there, it's working now, but I've made such a mess here. I mean, it'll be fine. I just need to let it dry. We'll clean it off. Then we'll let it dry. It'll be fine. We'll keep moving. Um, F-99 because? Because, yeah, she's had so many comics and she's really had a, a life uh, after um, I was done with it. So there's that. And then... Uh, um, I would say Maria Hill. Now, Maria Hill, the truth is that I got a description from Brian Bendis saying uh, a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent. Um, what's the matter, Meredith? Nothing. I thought you were snapping your fingers at me. No. Nope. Okay. No, look, you have to, this my. I could describe something, but you still have to visualize it. You know what I mean? As an artist, it's if you don't visualize something, you always undersell, undersell yourself. I don't know what we're talking about. Oh, oh okay, yes. right. Yeah. So, she had a shield outfit on, and he said a stern woman with short hair, short, dark hair. Uh, so I hardly call that character design, but the fact is I drew her first. So I co-created her. There you go. Stop. Tagamo, Tagamo Model Works is on the stream for $5 Super Chat. Hi, Dave Meredith is tag. Want to wish you a happy new year, and thank you for all you do for us. Well, thank you very much. Thank really you. Happy it. New Year, Tag. And we should be thanking you guys. Yeah, really. I don't know why. Like, you guys thank us. We're just here hanging out. And we invite you in. Thank you. I mean, it could be. Thank you guys for coming. Yes. Because, I mean, it could be 10 people. And then it would, that would be sad. But right now we have 600 viewers. And if you are new to the stream, look, see, I'm waking up, people. If you're new to the stream, Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Dave is at 88,000 subscribers, which is amazing. I just hit that this morning. You did. So make sure you hit subscribe if you aren't already subscribed and hit that like. And if you hit dislike, Kenny Wang will come find you. Brad Scott Art has a super chat for $10. Do you think it's ever too late to get into the comic business? I'm 51 and really want a second career after I retire from my first career in a few years. Miss Meredith rocks and support the Indiegogo, which is still going on. The Red Sonia Indiegogo. Oh, is it? Oh, it's still going on. It's doing really well. But you know, don't miss out. 
I figured it was done, so I, I didn't even mention it. Uh, okay, now, if you were retiring soon, then absolutely, yeah, there's nothing stopping you. The thing that stops people that are older than, you know, uh, a common age is early 20s to break in. And that's not because somehow your you know brain is different or whatever. It's because you have no responsibilities. So you can afford to uh, um, spend the time and dedicate yourself to uh, the process. The other advantage that somebody in their 20s has that you don't have truthfully is that they are desperate because they don't want to have to get a real job. I know <laughs> I was there. And so that really it's very, very motivating. And so, you know, you have to decide how motivated you are. If you're motivated enough to do it and it's what you really want to do. Um, and when I say motivated, I'm talking about Michael Johnson Curry motivated, you know, where you put out that work and you don't take no for an answer and you keep pushing and you face that rejection because we all get it. I mean, we've all been where Michael is. I certainly have been. I've got a huge pile of rejection letters. Um, and... You uh, go back to the drawing board, which he's also doing, and then work on things that you think you need to work on. And, you know, you just you don't stop. And that's how you have success. And uh, if you're willing to do that, yeah, age is absolutely not a factor whatsoever. Uh, there are there are artists um, that are quite a bit older that, that end up making it. Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't let that stop you for a second. Next super chat comes from Chris Fanning for twenty dollars. Thank you so much, Chris. Yeah, thank you, Chris. Dave's work with the Ultimate X Men and Avengers in the early thousand two thousands got me back into comics after a long hiatus. Thanks for bringing me back, and thank you for sharing your talent. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I'm uh, eternally grateful uh, that I've been able to do this for so long. It's amazing to me. I think about that all the time. Like I, I, um, I remember before I broke in the heartache and, and self doubt that I went through and I thought, okay, when I break in, if I can ever get in, I'll be such a happy person because, uh, eh. <laughs> yeah, because I'll have broken in and I'll have proven like, I know that I'm good enough, which is a big deal. Uh, I was not a happier person. And then I remember watching Brandon Peterson who was incredible. He was an artist at Top Cow and his stuff was just beautiful, incredibly tight. He just had a precision to his work. And also he was like the big shot at Top Cow at the time. You know, he was doing the cool stuff and he was doing a, a medieval spawn book with uh, Witchblade. And I remember thinking, wow, I don't know if I could ever get there. Like, is it possible? Or because there's no guarantees, you know, you don't know where you're going to top out, how things are going to go. And I remember thinking, I hope I can get there. I don't need to get there. I just wanted to, you know, keep working. But that was my dream, you know. And uh, um, that actually kept me pretty happy. I was happy with that. That was, that was a goal that was healthy. And then I've had times where I've had some very unhealthy goals. I mentioned that. Was that last week? Yes. Yeah. Now, you know, I had my uh, Jim Lee artwork out. And, yeah, uh, I was saying last week I was really trying to compete with Jim Lee, which was, you know, not good for my mental health. Nope. Not good at all. It can only be you. Yeah, you really can. Like it or not. Eric, and I feel like we have not mentioned moderator extraordinaire Eric tonight, but as always, Eric, our moderator, Eric Grove Art, our moderator extraordinaire has got a link for Dave's Red Sonia cover for Dynamite in the chat, if you want to back it. And there's several people on the stream. Alfin is 40, um, Inkbox is 40. So lots of, lots of people. I didn't even start writing until I was, how old was I when I started writing? 50? How do you now, 60? 41. My first book came out. Yeah, it's not young. No, that's young. 2017, right? Uh, 2017? No, no, you were. 2014. Yeah, 2014 was Wonder Woman, and you were writing before then. So 2013, so I was 40. Yeah. There you go. But you need to be old to write. You need life experience. 
Uh, well, not true. I'm sure it helps. It's them. not true. The kid, the you know those Aragon books, Aragorn, whatever the dragon books. Yeah, the kid was like 14 when he wrote those things. Jeez, I've got those books in my playlist. All right, Etvaldo Tellis says, "Please, Meredith, ask him about drawing superheroes and rock stars. I'll love it." There you go. I asked a question about drawing superheroes and rock stars. Yeah, I don't know. I just had to ask a question. Now he loves it. <sighs> I okay. Well, I, I, I never drawn a rock star. No, I never have. But you know what? I have drawn Eddie from Iron Maiden a million times. Been you know I, last as a time, teenage boy. As a teenage boy, that was all I drew. Oh, you know what? There's a live stream I want to do. Meredith will kill me. Well, so here's the debate we keep having here. It's going to be a commission <laughs> next week, people. Yeah, I I have this huge long list of commissions that it keeps not getting done. And I keep doing this stuff instead because I'm like, oh, I said I would do this and I said I would do this. But that being said, it's going to be a Moon Knight commission. Yes, I'm going to be doing Moon Knight. We haven't which, done Moon Knight since like the beginning of the stream. It was the very first one was Moon Knight. So I'm actually I'm pumped to do it. But I had been saying I was going to do this. I had it in my head. I really wanted to do it. Meredith, actually, when she came down and said, what are you doing? I said, um, uh, Ghost Rider. And she said, you said you were going to do Moon Knight. I told her I forgot. That's I spanked. I didn't forget. That's spanked. I did. I got in trouble. I had to apologize. But my philosophy, uh, I'm sure you guys will oh, agree. I know. It's easier to ask forgiveness than permission. And it is. Yeah. Well, I'm going to make your life miserable now. <laughs> I can't even. I can't. You're too nice to me. Zatenna is my favorite person in the stream right now. Meredith, you're forever 21. Ah, uh, see, there Tell you Tell my hips that. What are you talking about? My hips are hurting. Oh, they're hurting. I was going to say, they, your hips are... My hurting hips. You're in good shape. My Everett ruined my hips forever. Kids, man. That's a whole nother stream. That's the mom show. You know what they say? What Billy Crystal used to say. What? It's better to look good than to feel good. All right, fair enough. I'd take feeling good so I could ride forever. I want to be the queen on my horse till I'm 100. Sheldon Martin, super chat for $5. Hey, Meredith and Dave, favorite universal monster. Happy New Year, everybody. Well, great to see you, Sheldon. Thank you so much for coming by. I appreciate the super chat. Uh, and by the way, like I, I really appreciate the super chats, but I also really appreciate uh, all of you guys. And I, I, I wouldn't want to... I read, I read. The super chats mean that it really, with the it difference that it made... That I could hire an editor for the videos. You can hire Yuri for the videos. Because, super yeah. Super chats help with that. Yes. My, and I do read stuff that's not super chats. Like, it's not like I never read right. comments that aren't super chats. But but they, they do make a difference in that way. I definitely have a rule with this YouTube channel uh, coming from you-know-who. I'm not going to name names <coughs> behind me. I can't spend money. Like, I, I can't let it – it has to be self-sustaining or, you know, she, she gets upset. So – it's actually, it really makes a big difference, and I very much appreciate it. Tagamo Model Works says, your hips don't lie. Hee <laughs> hee, Shakira. And Kevin Mandevil wants to know if it was the kids or the horses that did my hips in. Oh, you know, that's hips. actually a good question. The horses did my shoulder and my thumb, but the kids totally did in the hips. Your thumb still hurt? My thumb, okay. it just sometimes, it's, it never works. It doesn't work the same way, right? Like, it doesn't bend the same way, and I can feel it always. Like I can always feel the joint. In a way, you wouldn't feel a joint normally, yeah. right? It's like thick. There's thickness, and I don't know how to describe it. Like when I, I don't know. Me neither. I need more massages. Like I think I've just got a lot of scar tissue in my shoulder from like, you know, breaking my my collarbone. So I just need like more massage, right, to break down the scar tissue. <laughs> Since Dave is my own personal masseuse. He's pretending that he doesn't hear that right now. I need another motorcycle. <laughs> How long did it take me to wake up tonight? An hour? Uh, better part of, yeah, I'd say. Yeah. I mean, you were fine. Maybe not right in the beginning. <laughs> <coughs> that reminds me, though. It was 8 o'clock. I was about to hit start. And Meredith said, oh, can you wait for me to cough? And so I, we started like 8.20. So there you go. You can blame Meredith. Or, you know, eight. 802. 
No, eight o'clock. It was still eight o'clock, oh. like eight zero zero, but it was like eight zero zero. Oh, 20. twenty seconds in because right. you waited for me to cough. I'd really try to be right. Like I sit there, just to let you guys know, I sit there and I wait for the thing to hit zero and then I hit the button. And there's so many times when I wanted to hit it. I'm like, we're here, we're set up, let's just go. But I figure we have a time. It's it's important to be consistent. And I don't want if somebody's showing up waiting for it to start at eight. I've already started, and that's not fair. So fair enough. Dean H N Z has Z, that's Z for the American people. Z in Canada. I have to keep telling Isaac that. As a super chat for five dollars, probably Z in New Zealand. What age did you start drawing? My eleven-year-old daughter asks. Um. Uh, well, thank you very much for the super chat to both of you. I started drawing. The first time I, I really remember drawing and, and thinking, you know what, I'm, I'm pretty good at this. I think I was around 11 or 12. Um, and I didn't really pursue it like I should have, but uh, I felt like I had an aptitude. I really enjoyed it. I remember drawing um, uh, a like a portrait and I drew. Oh, the one of your grandparents? Yeah, and that was actually a little. We got late. that here. Yeah, that's it's not the best, unfortunately, but. It's um, pretty good. Okay, well, thank you. For uh, a teenager. Right, thank you. Appreciate it, really. And yeah, I didn't start drawing seriously, though, until I was 20. So I was very old. And that was a result of me just not being aware of... Um, the thing is, what I'm doing here, while this is for comics, and this is total comic illustration, this also really works for uh, video game design, film design, that kind of thing. And I just wasn't aware of any of that as as an option. You know, it's it's very much the same skills. Now, there's painting involved, but in order to be able to, if you want to be really good at designing for games or movies or whatever, and the reason why... Um, Hey, Dave. Yeah. Did magic get posted? Artsy Designs <sighs> wants to know. No, you know, I actually looked through my folder. I can't find it. You must have it. I need to find it. I have Do we? It. Okay, you have it. Because, yeah, I, I actually was kind of coming around to doing that, and I, I didn't have it. But, okay, yeah, uh, Andy Park um, is the uh, head of Marvel Visual Development. He used to draw um, Tomb Raider for Top Cow. I worked with him um for quite a while at Top Cow. And uh, uh, it's the skills that he learned, I think, at Top Cow. Now, he's a phenomenal painter, but he also is a great constructive artist. And he knows how to uh, create not only figures, but whole scenes out of his head. It's a very, very important skill. And this is what you learned here. So uh, yeah, I just wasn't aware of it. Anyway, I'm really digressing. I'm sorry, it was a quick question, but yeah, yeah I, I was 20. There you go. Jack of Clubs has a super chat for nine pounds and 99 cents. And it's just one of those little, like, I want to call it, they're like Barba Papas. We've had this Barba Papa conversation before. I don't know what that is. It's like a little blob with hands and feet and it's rolling around laughing. You know, we That's, have super chats and super stickers. That might've been a super sticker. No, I don't, I just, maybe it's a super sticker. I don't know what it is, but it's very funny. And it, so thank you. Apparently well, we said something funny. Well, I'll see it. it. Must have been right around the time we're talking about my injuries because uh, just slightly below that is Eric Hoffel saying Meredith has as many scars as Deadpool. <laughs> yeah, she looks just like Deadpool. Actually, you're not wrong. I've got I, a wicked one. I'm, I've got a few wicked ones. Not yeah. on my face, though. After uh, after you fell off, you had the little baby arm for a while until it grew back. You know? <laughs> until it grew back. <laughs> true Xander Malcolmson has a super chat for two pounds Mike Mignola now versus his early Hellboy stuff Hell, early Hellboy stuff no contest whatsoever I respect the work he's doing now uh I mean he's he's incredible actually I I've really kind of been getting into it more than I I used to uh just from a design standpoint uh he's incredible still but his work to me, the stuff that I find really useful and what I recommend if somebody's going to look at Mike Mignola is his earlier stuff, because I, I think it's it's much more solid figure of work. I didn't say that. Oh, you I don't want to, you know. He's your band. You're banned from the chat. Sorry, guys. Dave's banned. 
Yeah, I mean, I'm talking about a legend, but you know, um, look, there there are people that that like the stuff I was doing years and years ago a lot exactly. more than what I do now too. So you know, it's it's a taste thing. You know but. what? Here it is. As an artist, you, I think, if you're not challenging and changing up your style and trying new things, what's the point? Yeah, and uh, there you go. It, he started. Uh, Mike McNolan started with a really is like a P. Craig Russell mixed with Frank Frazetta style. That's my, you know, I, I'm, I'm no expert to the point. Like, it's not like I was working with him, seeing what he was looking at, but that's what it looks like to me. And um, he started getting more angular. And I don't know what caused that because I don't know another artist that like he had such an individual style that nobody else was really doing. And it became very, very influential at Marvel. Uh, I know Mark Silvestri, actually, you can see a lot of uh, Mike Rigola influence in some of his work. Excuse me. All right. We got, I got Tyler, Tyler Novo, you know, Tyler. Yeah, Tyler, Tyler used to be Dave's apprentice several summers ago. Tyler says he has problems with his hands and his shoulders and he, when he get, has grains. So try that from, but I don't really eat grains. Unless you count potatoes, because I'm celiac, right? I'm gluten free, so I don't really eat a lot of grains. Unless you count potatoes, and I'm not ever life. There's some things life's not worth living. I'll take an Advil. <laughs> I forgot Tyler's Tyler Tyler's a healthy guy. Tyler's very healthy. Somebody else said go for a carnivore diet. I don't eat a lot of processed food either. We don't really eat a lot of processed food, so because I didn't grow up that way. All right, I got some super chats I'm backed up on. I'm going to go from bottom up. Damien Pin super chat for five Australian dollars. Thank you so much, Damien. Hey, Dave, don't hear his name much, but love Rick Leonardi on Cloak and Dagger. Yeah, absolutely. That was, I think his best work by far is Cloak and Dagger work. That's like his seminal, incredible work. Now, Oh, and I missed a super chat. Cool. But, I mean, the best work in the sense that it was very detailed. Uh, his Spider-Man 2099 stuff is probably, I think, is, he's most well known for, and, and really amazing, amazing stuff. I actually have two sketches from Rick Leonardi that I bought a couple of years ago, and I got to meet him, and he's like the nicest guy in the world, you know. So yeah, uh, they're more because their sketches are a little more in the price range. I so what I do, I go to conventions, and if I go on my own, uh, I, I make a little bit of money, and then. Uh, I go around and I buy a few sketches from artists that I like. And then when I get home, I say, well, this is what I made. And I just give Meredith the rest. And she doesn't know it better. So that's how I buy my artwork. We're going to pretend we didn't hear that or pretend that I don't actually know that's happening. So I missed a super chat a while ago from Simon Bonfont. Simon said, hi, Finch family. Dave, what do you think of superheroes looking more like their Hollywood version than extreme, like in the 90s? Like uh, now in comics, they're trying to make them look more like the Hollywood versions. Than that's understandable. When I got to Marvel, uh, X Men <clears throat> was really going through a a movie phase, and so you know, Frank Quitely was was drawing and he did designs, and they were you know in a lot of leather, and I thought they looked very cool. I liked it, so I didn't mind. Um, I don't have a problem with that. I really don't. And my hope always is that you know somebody that doesn't read comics, because uh, this is you know they don't do it. Um, out of any reason other than to try to appeal to the vast audience of people that watch the movie. So I'm, I'm down with that. You know, I like the original costumes in terms of like my taste. I like the original costumes, but I understand why they do it. And I fully support it. I mean, how could I not, you know, uh, the more people we can get reading comics and especially right now when comics are just with distribution, uh, the industry is suffering a little bit. So, you know, we need all the people we can get. All right. Next super chat comes from Russ Hicks for $5. Russ says, getting late here, but I'm glad I didn't miss it all. Hope Christmas is great and you guys have a happy New Year's. Here's to a better 2021. Happy New Year's to you too, Russ. Thank you yeah, so happy much New for Year's. the super chat. Yeah, thank you. Great to see you here. Hopefully you're having a good last couple of days. Couple of days. Yeah. Was it like two days now? I don't know. Thursday. Today's Monday. 28th four more days three more days because today is basically done all right i really do wish i could have more days of this year which is such a crazy thing to say i mean nobody wants more days of 2020 but i 
I've got a list of work that I need to do and I'm trying to get through it. And I'm, I had an idea of where I wanted to be, you know what I mean? Before. And I, I'm not going to be there. It's frustrating. All right. Wayne Blackman is a super chat for $20. Well, thank says, you, Wayne. Hi guys. Happy new year. I really appreciate the live chat. Dave, do you use a particular brand of 2H lead and does the choice of lead impact the quality of your work? I use a 2B Koenor lead that I love, but it does smudge. Uh, I, okay. I'm going to say that I think 2B is uh, too soft, no matter what brand you're using. I think that's way too soft. Uh, I, you can't get any detail with it. Now, what you can do, and I don't do this, but I've really thought about trying is, uh, and I, I've seen Jim Lee do it, which is what made me really want to try it. And that is uh, draw everything with a, like a thinner lead. And then he uses this big, huge honking pencil. I don't even know what it is. I should ask him. Um, and he just side sketches in his shadows and he actually will block in big shapes in there and then clean it up afterwards. And he comes up with some really great just design patterns out of it very, very quickly. It's a really efficient way to work. But yeah, in terms of detail, that is way too soft. Anyway, so the question I use. Stadler normally. I don't have my, yeah, they're just Stadler. Um, Stadler stuff. What I can get at Staples. I'm not going to say that they're the best whatsoever, but what I will say is I use, I use 2H. His wife can pick them up for him. And 2H from one company is not necessarily going to be the same as 2H from another company. And since I know that Stadler 2H is what I like, uh, I just stick with it. So not because they're better, but because I know what I'm going to get. So, yeah. And, oh, uh, with the, the one caveat that uh, if it's really humid, my pages get a little soft. They, they get wet a little bit. And I switch to an H because the 2H just starts to really fight the paper. So, yeah, that's fairly rare, but it does happen. I had to read this. Talk, Tegmo model tag says... I'm just going to say tag because it says maybe alternate commissions on what you want to draw on the streams because horses need feed and hogs need fuel. Yeah. Well, it's, it's also kind of, kind of funny. It's also kind of not fair to the people that want commissions. The thing is I started doing the stream really with the thinking. And I told Meredith my justification for getting away with doing taking the, the time to do this. Cause you know, you can imagine her reaction. Oh yeah. I want to spend a bunch of time. She was very concerned because I've got a lot to do. And I said, well, I can get through all my commissions. That'll be what I draw. Yeah. Meh. So the first few were commissions. And I, I've done, I think, at least another one. But yeah, most of these are just what I've wanted to draw. Like the Grinch. Let me put it this way. That was not oh, a commission. Oh, that's Christmas. Yeah, it was all fun. Right. Next Super Jack comes from Kevin Mandavel for four ninety nine. Kevin wants to know, David, do you ever use other mediums like ballpoint pen? I've been checking in a lot of Frank Cho and you know, Frank stuff with ballpoint pen is just yeah, crazy. it's crazy, incredible. I have used ballpoint pen for sketches. I did that actually for quite a while. I would just draw. I wouldn't even pencil, and I would just you go in with ballpoint pen. Never do like ballpoint like Frank. No, does. no, like I've never Frank, used it for that's professional like life work. drawing. Is yeah, what Frank is doing. That's a he's got a level of skill with that. That I mean. You know, that doesn't just happen. That's It's really incredible. He's actually, what it reminds me of, and I think, uh, I know he's been influenced by it in the past. I don't know what he's looking at exactly now, so I don't want to say. But there's an artist called Serpieri. Um, I think he's an Italian artist. And his work is highly not safe for work, you know, to say the least. But uh, he does this unbelievable, beautiful cross-hatching style. Uh that's very much like what Frank was doing. And I, I think that's going to, I think that's an influence for what he's doing with that stuff. And he would even do it where it would be a bit of a wash of watercolor and then colored pencil. And you do all that hatching with colored pencil, just really textural, amazing, amazing stuff. That's like, I have so many books and this is always the thing. Like I'm thinking, what's the book of the week? Well, the amount of books that I have that I would love to do that I can't because they're just not appropriate for the stream. Like all my, um, European books, almost all of them, I, I can't show. Uh oh, what's the matter? Sebastian Adrian Cruz says, I was hoping to hear, I was open to hear Meredith's British accent. I can't even in the oh, pound. Wow. <laughs> uh, I can't do Cockney. You can. Oh, that's but the problem. I can't do Cockney. Like, ear is a Cockney accent. Like, that's a, a very, like, 
I could do more like down to mana, but I can't. That's only because, you know, I grew up with a grandmother who used to say squirrel and zebra. You know who I does? Sound, I can sound like my grandmother. You know who does amazing accents? Like Isaac? all kinds of different ones. Isaac? Uh, actually, you know, he does. Isaac it's true. Some pretty good accents. Yeah. Stephen Platt. Oh, there you go. He is so good with accents. You're He's hilarious. Right. You're, you spend more time with comic book guys than I do. So there. So there. So no, next time I'll, I'll try to add an accent. But then Dave will just mute me. <laughs> Can I do Australian? Let's Put another it. shrimp on the bobby. Oh, mate. you knew that was coming. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you uh. know what's crazy is... Isaac can do an Australian accent. He can, and he doesn't say that either. He doesn't say that. He doesn't say like a crocodile Dundee. Like I'm pretty nine, sure put another shrimp on the Barbies is like Dundee. offensive enough that it's racist. <laughs> pretty much. It's a racist against Australians. <laughs> I'm doing my Canadian accent right now. So yeah, but Isaac, I because I think we were talking about Australian accents. And Isaac came and started saying something. I was like, wow, that's actually It really was impressive. actually, yeah. Oh, this is Meredith's accent night. Dave is so embarrassed right now. Try, Wayne Bruce is trying to do a Scottish accent. Oh, oh. my gosh, I, I can't think of... You can't pull off the brogue? I, you know what, though? Because I can't. I'm not in a good like accent mood right now. I used to do accents all the time. Yeah. It's a skill. I might be able to do like an Irish one. Sound oh. like a fake leprechaun, but I won't do it. Poor David. I mean, look, I don't mind if you do it. You're only embarrassing you, not me. I got to think of something to say. Oh, look at Laura's Kenny Wang. Kenny Wang in the chat. <laughs> okay, we're good. <laughs> I was wrong. You're embarrassing me too. Do a Russian accent, says Jasper Plan 9. It's Meredith's, accent. Meredith's <laughs> awful accent night. <laughs> vodka. It's vodka. There's my vodka. Wow. Get the vodka out of the refrigerator. Unbelievable. <laughs> Clearly, accent's not my strong, not my forte. If it's a fake leprechaun, of course, why stereotypes does that are... sounds matter? As past Pastor Dan. Course stereotypes are definitely your thing, though. I don't know. I'm, I guess apparently I'm a stereo. I'm there. You go. Dave's like all about the stereotypes. I don't know. I just go for the movie. And honestly, Meredith, do Arnold. I'll be back. They're asking for Arnold because you sounded just like Arnold a minute. You were trying to do Russian and then you just I slipped right into Arnold. Did I? There you go. You'll notice that I'm not trying to do an accent. <laughs> Kevin Mandel was like, Meredith, we love you, but don't quit your day job. Yeah. <laughs> My day job is a mom, so I'm stuck with it 24-7. I told you, nobody, I'm never, ever, nobody in Hollywood's calling me up. <laughs> Get to the chopper, says Eric Grove. <laughs> Get to the chopper. It's worse kindergarten cop when you need it. Or It's not a tuma. Not a tuma. <laughs> That's pretty good. It's better than mine. Yeah, you can add accents to another there you go. one give of my long me, list me, of non -skills. You give me the phrase, and then I'll try to do it. How about we just move on? All right. I, the, I can't move on because it's stream. <laughs> it's not moving on. I'll be back. Oh, there you go, Shrek. I could, that just makes me want to sing. Somebody once told me. Mike Myers does do a really great Scottish accent. He does. Xander Malcolmson says, I can do a Scottish accent mainly because I'm from there. I ah, see. There you go. Yeah. Ever used to have a Scottish coach, coach, his soccer coach was, or a football coach, was Coach Mick. There you go. <clears throat> how's, this, how's the picture coming, David? It's 945, which is about the time when I start asking you I'd say we're on a pretty good schedule to be around the quarter after. So okay. around that. where you'd want to be. All right. I'm, I'm got all my shadows in. 
<sighs> El Petrino not wants me here, to do but... a David impression, but I can't do a David impression because I'm not on camera. That would be me looking in the camera and rolling my eyes at Meredith in the background. That's my having to oh, do with here's, you. Here's my David impression. It's going to be a conversation. This is our conversation every morning. David, it's time to wake up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to. Dave, are you up? This is 15 minutes later. Yep, I'm up. I'm up. I'll be right down. 20 minutes later. Dave. Okay, we get it. <laughs> you know. Sometimes you actually sound awake, and I think, like, you're pretty convincing at the, I'm up, I'm getting up. And then you go back to sleep. Yeah, let me just. This is 8 o'clock in the morning, which is not so early, yet, but I not went to. Er, no, like, not early at all. I went to bed, you know. Every night. At 4. So, and that's not like really at four. I went to, and so what ends up happening? You like, go to bed at four every night. Last night I was at, in bed at uh, two thirty, so not that bad. And I was up at eight, and because I went to bed at two thirty, actually didn't nap at all today. I do that a lot, so I just yeah, I've been working all the way through, and I've been fine. If I go to bed at four, I end up crashing a little bit. You can manage on six hours. I get, yeah, I'm fine on six hours. Less I than can. that, and I start fighting yeah. it. Like, I start getting bad. All right. Sorry. I'm having a moment right now. I need a sound effect. Um. What sound effect did you pick? Crickets. Totally appropriate. They're still playing. I think it'll just keep going. <laughs> Do you turn it off? Every, all the everybody on the streams like, oh yeah, I don't sleep anymore during the day. I go to bed at three a.m. My usual Jordan Seward. Yeah, but Jordan, what time do you wake up? That's what I want to know. Well, we'll have to wait for Jordan to answer. Yep. Yeah. Ruben Sylvester wants to know how much you earned to sign a contract with Marvel or DC. Two million dollars? No. Uh, no. Okay. Look. Absolutely not two million dollars. No, I'll tell you that right now. It's definitely not two million dollars. What it is, though, is what you, what they're willing to pay and what your lawyer is able to negotiate. I mean, that's fact. It's business. So, um, yeah, I, I, I got a lawyer around. 2010 and I was able to get quite a bit more money as a very good lawyer and you know I, I and I'm not a business person I don't know you know and I don't know if you guys know this about Dave but he doesn't really have a lot of business. he tends to undervalue himself yeah and be a little humble all right about stuff so it's good to have a lawyer for stuff like that Yes, but yeah, I mean, a contract can be very lucrative uh, if they want you bad enough. And I mean, there are times they certainly do. And, you know, it's something to to aim for, you know, and you can do very, very well. You really can. Like it's, this is not a high paying job, but it absolutely can be. It can be a very high paying job. Jordan Seward wakes up between 10 and 12. Like, that can't happen in my house. You can't live here. If you're sleeping until 10. Yeah, see, there you go. That's at how you 12 go. o'clock, you better be a teenage boy that I gave birth to if I am letting you sleep past noon. But uh, Jordan probably is not having to, like, he's not crashing on the couch. Whereas I have the advantage, I'll just crash on the couch if I'm tired enough. And it does happen. So I kind of, you know, it's my way of balancing it. Artsy design says I'm old like Meredith Finch. In bed by 10 and woke up at five. Wake up at five. I like all of the part except the old. <laughs> old like Meredith. Uh, Kenny Wang, I wake up at 12 because I'm cool like that. Kenny, nobody's surprised by that. Nope. No, not at all. Kevin Mandevil, I only sleep like four hours a night for close to six years. That's all you need, Dave. Yeah, it is. It four is. Four hours. It's, I can go by in six. I could easily do six on a constant routine, I think. Well, and it is true. I can't do four 
constantly. I, I just end up, it's, it's too little, but I can do six. I can do five even for like quite a while. I can go for a stretch with five. Rich wear is an animal. I usually crash out between two and three and then get up to get my youngest up and off to school at 645. That's rough. And you know what? I would have thought, because people that just really don't need much sleep at all, I thought, honestly, that, like, you hear people say, oh, you know, I do this, and I'm like, okay, yeah, sure, whatever. But they exist. Our next door neighbor from a few years ago, this is quite a few years ago now, um, that guy barely slept at all, you know? Chuck. Oh, our next door neighbor? Yeah. Yeah. He drank a lot of Red Bull, though, like, (laughs) a a lot of Red Bull, like... (laughs) A, a lot of Red Bull. Okay, you put a qualifier in if you want, but I mean, the fact is, he really didn't sleep. This is so. personality type too. Yes. Like some people are like vibrating all the time. Yeah, yeah, all he's it, he is a businessman. Yeah, he's and, constantly like yeah, he's like a shark. Yeah. That guy is like a shark. You know, sharks sleep and they're still moving. Yeah, that guy was like he'd be up walk up at five o'clock in the morning going for a walk, just thinking things out. Yeah. Kenny Wang, if we get 17 more likes, I'm finna make up at 8 tomorrow. <laughs> really? I want to see proof. I, I, we want proof. Can you better text me, like, a, send me a tweet or a Facebook or an Instagram. Need them, like, beside the newspaper. With, with Beside <laughs> your alarm clock with 8 a.m. on your freaking phone, like, selfie chat so that we know that happened. Because I think that was like before we we weren't at six hundred, and I see that we're at five ninety eight right now. So I'm pretty sure Kenny's going to be up at eight o'clock tomorrow. Yeah, that's the thing. That was a that was a bold, foolish statement. That was one of those "I'll eat my hat" kind of statements. That where was, next thing you know, going to be eating that hat. Yeah. Jason Davis. Unfortunately, I wake up at five thirty. No matter what time I go to sleep, and once I'm up, I'm up. See there, you know, he's got that in common with you. That's morning yeah. people. First of all, very <laughs> annoying. But also, it's a bit of a curse. He says, I always did better on a few hours sleep. Dials has me tired more often now, but I still don't sleep late. I hear you. You know what the best thing is, Jason, for me? This is like such a luxury. Some people can do it. Some people can't. And after the nap. Yeah, it certainly works for me. Love it. An afternoon nap. Yeah, I think dials. This will definitely take it out of you a little bit. Oh, yes, for sure. Mark C, $5. I used to survive on four to five hours of sleep for years. At 47, I want my eight hours. Yeah, you know, so do I. I don't have time, and I pay for Thanks it. Thanks for the super chat, Mark. Yes, thank you. And yeah, Dave I, doesn't have time. I'm Well, we I'm a year older. Dave, I'm 48. Dave clone. I'm 48 now, so. Jimmy Reyes. Meredith Finch, there's an 8 a.m.? <laughs> 8 a.m.? Not just 8 p.m.? Wait, what? Uh, it's funny. It's Earl of Sandwich is definitely Ken. Because yeah, Jinxie says very annoying getting up early. And I'm like, what? I got things to do, like eating breakfast and Ken and reading Twitter. We know Ken. He's yes. Eating. He likes his food. Well, he's he, like a lean, mean. Yeah, he's one of those guys that can eat. All the time. And, and he skinny, does. super skinny. Yeah. Skinny. Well, he's also in the military, too. He works out all the time. So he's got to stay oh, in shape. Oh, no. Swamp Fox. My girlfriend and I have COVID right now. We saw this. Life is good. Oh, Swamp Fox. I hope you guys get better soon. Yeah, really. Absolutely. Best wishes. We will pray for you. Yeah. Hopefully it goes well. I mean, it seems like, you know, for the most part, when, when people are, are getting it, they're they're all right. And hopefully that will be case for you and his girlfriend also yeah yeah well yeah hopefully you do well stay inside social distance well why he's already got it he's fine stay in your house like isolate if you've got it no no no. So once you have, have it you want to go spread it to everybody else right is that how that works no no, no don't it, pretend to the stream that you're nice because you know it. <laughs> if the stream was if we weren't live on camera right now you'd like well, you got it, so now go give it. To, you can go out all you want. That's exactly what I was just saying. I know, that's I'm kidding. Saying. I'm kidding. He doesn't actually mean it. No, I, of He's, course not. That being said, when you really get to know David, and he lets, like, I want to say lets your guard down, but you're, like, 
so many times. Okay, so the point we is that dating. my guard is not down. I don't know. So I don't want to say, but I don't just. I don't know how. I'm maybe not phrasing this in the right way. But when we were dating, you would say stuff, and I would be like, "Is he kidding?" And you were kidding, but like I really wasn't sure you were kidding. Like you say sarcasm with such a straight face, and like it took me a while to get used to your sense of humor. Yeah, I don't know if that's really a sense of humor, though, you know? Well, what is it then? I don't know. Anyway, I do, you know, I have to admit. Like, on the stream, this is, I, I'm not any different. Really? No, you're, you're who you are. You are exactly who you are. I'm on the, like, this Where's, I'm, where I'm right I'm on the camera. I can see myself on the camera when you turn. See that? Oh, yeah, look at that. I need a screen. <laughs> Where I totally moved the camera because it never used to be that way. I, I will try and fix it, but it's too late now. Everybody's seen you. I know. It's not even. I might as well like be sitting at the desk beside you. Yep. Um, I'm more careful. I really am. You know, definitely. Because I want it to be family friendly. I don't want it to swear or. You like, don't you swear know. anyway. No, not really. I swear. Yeah. Sometimes like a sailor. Sometimes. I try to be better. I'm trying also, to be Isaac and I had a conversation about patience. I told him I was praying for patience. And that when I got frustrated and angry with him, but because I wasn't being patient, that he should look at me and say patience. And I wouldn't yell at him if he gave me the patience word. I think I've been better. Wow, that's good. I've been praying for patience. Yeah, well, he can test it. <clears throat> and he does. And he does. So sweet. I love him so much. Sometimes, how can you love and slash want to choke somebody so much? Yeah. Kevin Mandevil, 499. Can this be a commission? I've got Christmas money to spend. This one will go on the site. Yeah, it, it will be, actually. That's a super chat, by the way, Kevin. That was a super chat oh, for well, 499. Thank, thank you, Kevin. You. Kenny Wang says, if we get 12 more likes, Meredith will reveal her face again. Meredith Finch, you have to do it. <sighs> sure. Yeah. Uh, from the couch, though. Flat Meredith. Flat <laughs> Meredith. Andrew Taz says, Bigfoot has a blurry video of Meredith somewhere. <laughs> the arm's kind of waving. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Oh. Guys should be glad. I have to see her every day. It's true. It's unfortunate for you. That's what I was saying. I did shower this morning, though, so there's that. I I showered and washed my hair. So there you go. <clears throat> it's never good hair, though, at 10 o'clock at night. No, it's fine. It's important. It really, it is actually fine. It's not like it's... Henry Jeremiah, Meredith, I want to drink wine with you and watch a hockey game. Would I survive? I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question. Depends on what kind of wine you bring, Henry. Yeah. Yeah, that'll go a long way. Yeah. That's a long way to... To goodwill. Yeah. Sheldon Martin, just have a picture you can pan to for Meredith. <laughs> just like on a little stick, a picture on a right. stick where you like, you lift it and wave it in front of the camera. Yeah. I'm a fictional, I'm a fictional creature, says Ross Klein. It's not a real Meredith. It's a fictional creature. It's actually, it's me lip syncing into this microphone. Yeah. I'm like Jason Voorhees. Did we get enough likes, Kenny? No more, no, like 18 more likes. 28 more likes. What the heck? 28, well, he might be good because that's, that's a pretty good number likes. to overcome. Um, did I miss anything else? I hope not. This is the time of the stream. We have this every week where things kind of wind. Down. It's winding down. Just a little bit. 642 likes. That's a lot of likes oh, for that this is. stream. We're they begging are... for likes and we have 642. Jeez, man. 645 now. And on, what's most shocking is most weeks my like count does not keep up. Like I'll sit here for the whole stream 
And unless I refresh, I have no idea how many likes we have. Like I'll sit at 200 likes all night, but apparently my like count is live tonight. I have 653. So who knows? I think what's our highest, like 700 something likes. Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> so don't really, I really, for all you people watching and hitting the like button. Thank you. And if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. I try very subscribe. hard to not look subscribe. at the number. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> This is when it's, I pray. It's it's tired drunk. Grant Meredith, me patience. Sorry. Tired drunk. Tired drunk, Meredith. Not that I'm drunk, but I'm tired. Right. Because I've been drinking. Well, unless you can get drunk on chamomile tea. Maybe that's possible. Well, you can die from drinking too much water. I heard that. You can. Your body is a delicate balance of salinity. Okay, this is all going south. Now we're talking about dying from drinking too much water. You're the one that brought it up, not me. I know. I regret it. But I'm the one that exhibited my all right, appalling anyways. accents. So there you go. Oh, hey. Bill's 24, Patriot's 9. Somebody give you a score? Yeah, Henry. I. Oh, I, my gosh. 27 more likes and Dave shaves his eyebrows. Kenny, Dave doesn't have any eyebrows. Yeah, I don't know if you noticed. It, what kills me is... so. I, for those of you that are not aware, and I'm sure that's probably most, really. It's not something I... Dave but, doesn't have hair. Right. And I never have since I was uh, born. And I have still... To, like People will assume that I shave my head. And I'm like, you know, you notice that, like, you know... I actually technically have eyebrows. I think I got, like, you three on like, the side. There you go. But, yeah, no. Apparently, that was the joke. Oh. Uh, we're so old we didn't, get, <laughs> we didn't get it. We're the worst. Well, who said the joke? Kenny. Banned. So, yeah, Kenny's banned. And you know if Dave bans you, Eric's gonna totally do it. <laughs> yeah. I think he takes me a whole lot less seriously than he takes you. He probably does. Oh dear. Dave, when are you doing another portfolio review? Um, RLJ3 Art wants to know. That will be coming up very, very soon. And I will have an announcement about that uh, within a week. So I need to do a, just a little bit of logistics here. And I will have something on that very, very soon. So, yeah, that's coming. Oh, is that going to be part of your... Um, your also, when do you do, okay, here's the other question I have for you. You talked last week or maybe teased last week about like memberships and stuff. Yeah. When's that happening? Next week. You're going to have memberships live next week? I just committed to it. That might have been a mistake because I actually I'm so busy right now and <laughs> I don't know. Eric, did you hear that? Next week, he says. Well, well all you have to do is hit a button. So it's gotta, not a big you deal. Gotta to... know, you got to write it down. We're going to have to write it down. We're going to have to post it somewhere. Okay. But here's the thing. All you, you have to do is hit a button to do it, right? The challenge is making sure that you're not just ripping somebody off by hitting a button and then not providing anything. Exactly. And so that's what I want to make sure I have all sorted out. And I think that I have a good plan. Well, we need to like, I need to write it down. We'll talk about it yeah. at breakfast tomorrow morning. Because. So we know all of it. And you know, the, okay, look. Um. I want to do memberships because it supports the channel and, uh, you know, yeah, I, I'm such a terrible businessman. I always, I hate saying like, you know, I, I'd want this to look be profitable. Right. But I mean, I do, I do, you know? And so anyway, there's that, but then also, um, yeah, I we want, okay. I'm going to say this. There has to be a way to provide added value for people who want things like portfolio reviews and but those things don't come they have the cost of your time right but to it, provide that kind of stuff and so oh, okay. but also, a membership covers the cost of okay, like anyway some of the exclusive content that you're giving away for free but when i say okay anyway that's putting like I just, this is when i talk over you also I really want to do a regular portfolio live stream because <coughs> uh, I'm finding 
I am so overwhelmed, busy all the time. I'm always putting out fires and I have uh, work that I'd, I'd like to be looking at and, you know, and, and having that interaction and I just cannot find the time. But I also don't have time to do this live stream. But because we have it scheduled, I never miss it and we make the time, you know. And so that's what I'm looking at it going, you know what, if I can, yeah, just schedule it as a live stream and put it out as part of a, a membership, then it's something that I can, then I, I'm, I'm basically forced to set that side of time, uh, that time aside. It's something that's consistent. You guys can expect it. My plan is twice a month. And uh, so I'll pick a day. I'm thinking Thursday is my, uh, that's what's in my head right now. But, you know, we have, anyway, I think it's Thursday. So that's what we're looking at. So, yes. All right. Next super chat comes from Chris Lavoy for two dollars. Hey, you drew feet. <laughs> I did. Well, oh yeah, there the other ones there too. So yeah, there you go. Actually, now that you mentioned that, I really should probably just get to the end of this and finish that. What time is it? Ten oh six. You're doing great. This is where I'm starting to run against the clock a little bit. Memberships would be good, says Ross Pine. Well, thank you, Ross. I. This is a problem. Like, I don't want to turn it into some kind of a, oh, hey, I'm just trying to like monetize all you guys because, you know. And it's not that. I know, look, I, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a tough thing because I want it to be profitable. Oh, and portfolio whatever, reviews but... on Patreon is an option. Uh, well, I don't. Kevin Mandevil says we need VIP level membership. Yeah. It, well, okay. Here, here's the thing, right? I could do a portfolio, like a Patreon portfolio, and I could see how that could work. The problem is then I would be committing to something that doesn't have a schedule. Really? Yeah. I much prefer I'd rather have a schedule. if it's scheduled, like I am very good at, at meeting a schedule that is predetermined and I have to meet it. And I like today, Meredith actually, well, she was sleeping on the couch when we started this. Yeah, I had to wake up for this, people. And I was really thinking, oh, you know what? Maybe I should just like, you know, maybe we just wouldn't do it. But I thought I can't do that because it's scheduled. I put the thumbnail up. I can't. What am I going to do? So, and I mean, I'm always glad once we get to it. Yeah. Uh, so I really like the idea of, of having it be something that is a commitment. Also, I give much better advice. Um then you guys can have custom badges and emojis if there's memberships. Yeah. I give much better advice when I'm drawing and showing yes. than saying. And I find it very, very difficult to give decent, like, you know, it, me just comment and saying, yeah, that looks really nice. It's not helpful. So anyway. Anyway, Eric Huffle says you can make custom membership badges and emojis. Yeah. You have to get somebody to do that on Fiverr. Yes. Fiverr, Dave's like, I need something. I'm going to Fiverr. Dave loves Fiverr. Your favorite place. Oh, that's something I was going to say. I can't remember. No hurry. We'll just go dead quiet. I'm sorry. I'm trying to, I'm reading the stream. Oh, I know. I was going to read Kenny Wang's, Kenny's comment. Kenny said, I'm genuinely scared. That David will grow so big that this community won't be as intimate and personal anymore. I'm scared. Don't you worry, people. Uh, you know, I forget you guys. Look, the fact is, I, I want it to grow, of yeah. course. But, but uh, yeah, that'll be the day that uh, you, you know, forget the people who yeah. start, started with us. And I, I mean, I don't know. Look, I want it to grow. I, I have no expectations that way. But yeah, if if I was so <laughs> fortunate to like you know have it grow and be big, yeah, I certainly wouldn't. Okay, super Forget. chat from Brad Scott Art for five for five dollars. David, I don't know if you know this, but you are providing extreme value to any artist watching these live streams. And Brad really wants to be on my Christmas card list next year because he always ends with Miss Meredith Rocks. <laughs> You'll well, get the Grinch card next year. Thank you very much, Brad. Thanks so much. Very much appreciate thanks it. Thanks so much, Brad. And then Meow Nyan has a super chat for six ninety nine. Hi, Mr. Finch. I love your art. I was teaching you on pop art for junior high. I was wondering what are your thoughts on Roy Lichtenstein? Thank you for the super chat, Meow. Um, look, it's my policy to fan. it's my policy to not do negativity at all. But 
yeah, for Roy Lichtenstein, I'm going to make an exception. Oh, shit. And uh, on that note, that <laughs> tells you what Dave thinks about Roy Lichtenstein. Yeah, he took the work of very underpaid uh, artists working in rough conditions. I mean, at the time, the artists that were doing the work that he was taking was copying, uh, and not just like just traced out copying. Um, these were honest people raising families and and doing work that they were passionate about. They loved. It was a product of of their creativity. And this guy comes along and says that he's redeeming it through irony, basically calling it a joke and then profiting from it. And I don't see that guy taking the money he's he's scamming from these artists and then giving it back. He's just putting it in his pocket and laughing. And I think it's disgusting. And I can't stand it. And that is my opinion. There you go. Jerry Rasco for $5. Jerry said, super chat. Jerry says, keep the YouTube here free, but put the paid memberships on Twitch so the fans can use their Amazon Prime accounts to get a free subscription. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. Yeah. I'll have to look into that. I'm going to look, I'm going to talk to Eric, who is like the guru of, of, you know, good decision making. <laughs> so, you know, we'll get it figured out. All right, next super chat comes from Sheldon Martin for $5. Sheldon wants to know, hey, Meredith, how long does it take you to write a comic page? And how does it go from an idea to story? So I, just writing a simple page could take, like, if I really know how it's going to go, it could take 15, 20 minutes because you got to describe the scene. But I would say on average it takes me half an hour to write a page if it's flowing pretty well. Because then I got to think about dialogue and stuff. And then it goes from idea to story. I have to like, I, it, it's like a, I write a summary of what the story is. And then I just keep adding like, then I'll do like issue breakdowns. So here's the overall story. And then, because then as you do issue breakdowns, you have to add more detail and think about the story. And so mostly it starts with a one page sort of summary. And then it goes from there. I haven't written. I'm, I'm been bad about writing right now, though. Yeah. Don't tell Colin. I have no, I have like a little, few, little more script, but I haven't actually like, it's rough. I haven't even reviewed it. So I need to get on it. Maybe yep. tomorrow. Jordan Seward has a super chat for 549. Shout out to one Mighty R's upcoming B Day. Happy B Day, Mighty. Yeah. Happy when, birthday. I don't know when Mighty's birthday is, but happy birthday to Mighty. Did we say I could sing happy birthday? You can. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, one mighty R. Happy birthday to you. <coughs> Jimmy wants to be on my Christmas card list too. Dave Finch, you're going to need more mods soon. This chat is getting busy. At Finch Meredith looks 21. <sighs> Jimmy. <laughs> uh so fun. how busy is the chat i don't know i'm watching the chat is it more busy than it normally is what does the moderator do in the chat besides be awesome uh make sure that people are people are behaving themselves yeah so Eric, make sure people are behaving themselves. Also, you can spam the comments. You know what he, I mean when he, I say that? Uh, he always redacts stuff. He um, posts links every time we even so much as mention something. It's like instantly up there. Eric, do you have a clone? Walk out, click, click, go through it. Is anybody won't? I think Stewie did a clone on Family Guy, right? We clone Eric. <laughs> Ah, uh, see, this is where if I had the time, I would detail each one of these little links. I'm, I know. I'm like, don't anybody super chat because Dave's almost done, I think, right? I'm getting fairly close. It's going to be another five minutes. Kenny Wang says, Meredith, can you actually make me a moderator? Kenny, I have no power to do anything. I pretend I've got all the power. I don't have any power. I have power in my house. I don't have power on, on Dave's YouTube channel. 
Dave has all the power. Eric Huffle says it's harder coming up with the story and getting the themes right and such than writing the actual script pages. All the time is pre-writing work. I agree. Yeah. 100%. I, yeah. Writing is a, a job where it's all about. Because I used to. It's like. Go ahead. I, I used to get a script and I'd be like, this is going to take me forever. And look, it took you a minute. Like, how long could it have taken to write those two lines? And I'm not counting the phone calls back and forth with the editor, the script approvals, the the pitch process, even just to get that far. And like, there is so much involved. It's uh, writing is a very, very tough go. And there are only a very few writers that, that, you know, get enough of a name and uh, enough of a reputation that they don't have to pitch anymore. I mean, that's a huge thing right there. Just pitching is like, a that's tough. You know, and every writer has to pay their dues. There's no writer that starts and never has to pitch unless you're, you know, Stephen King. And you can be sure he had to pitch back in the day for books. Yeah. I have to read this little comment from Cooper McCormick. Cooper says, I got my Deadpool inked and colored drawing retweeted by Liefeld. And that made my day. Oh, that's so great. just know that you guys are my 100% inspirations as a 16 year old artist. Well, thank you very much, and congratulations. That's awesome. I think Rob Liefeld's celebrating 20 years of Deadpool or something like that this year. That's awesome about that. Oh, we got another super chat. Jay Sanchez for $9.99. Hey, David, could you look at some pictures I drew on Instagram? This is a hungry, hungry artist 16. I need some wisdom. Whatever time is suited, you have a blessed day. Oh, well, thank you very much for the super chat. I will have to try and um, get over to your Instagram. Yeah, I I actually managed to get to Instagram uh, for Christmas. I did post the um, the Grinch, and it was like quarter to midnight on Christmas when I finally got around to doing it. Excuse me. So at least I got it up there. We'll have it for a card next year. Yeah, actually, oh, Frankie Armada's gonna... are back. Frank Diamato is going to color it. I talked to him about it. I was actually supposed to get it to him by now. You know how I am. But I figured, hey, we got a year. Yeah. It's already. I know. Oh, ouch. Sorry. I feel like I. I, I need some, like. I, this is where I need the soundboard. I can make sounds. Are you done? No. Because you look like you're done. I'm, I'm keep very thinking close. You're done, but then you're not done. Oh, you know what? You'll live. Oh. Oh. I feel like this is a kind of like a a circular stream. How's that? Because I started the the night yawning oh, for you. Yeah. And I'm ending the night yawning. It was like. And you know what's funny? It's I, like, I feel you have a curve in math. You start low. Yeah. And then you come up and I had my peak and now I'm coming back. And down. I keep feeling like the stream really kind of winds down toward the end. Uh -huh. Like it's, you know, people are like losing interest and it's winding down. Really what's happening is it's you. Cause I take so much of my energy <laughs> cue from you and I'm you're so like, done. <laughs> I'm like, you guys got to stop eating on my computer, by the way. It's gross. You guys, I don't need at your you computer. And you, Isaac, somebody's been okay. Real. This is your coffee your, from your like morning coffee on my computer here. Well, if it's me, it would just be coffee. I don't need yeah, breakfast. Yeah. Coffee. All right. I uh, Chagamo could... Model Works last super chat of the night with your pet for ten dollars with your passion for the art and your need to give. You will find a compromise to offer something wonderful. Whatever it winds up being, it will be appreciated to the fullest. Well, thank you very much. So I nice. really appreciate that. Uh, really, it's it's very you nice. Guys are like to the say. greatest supporting stream ever. Really, I just want to retire. <laughs> My, Meredith needs a new horse, people. Come on. I just need to pay for the, the horses I've got now. Hayfield's coming, though. I'm going to put in a hayfield. we got 30 acres. It's going to be a lot of hay for my horses. Are you excited? Oh, yeah. Thrilled. See the amber waves of grain? <laughs> All right, let me see. Actually, out. hay's green. So there we go. There's Grass. Ghost Rider. I cannot tell you guys how much I wish I had time to do his motorcycle. That was something I, I thought about it today. I thought, oh, how can I draw Ghost Rider without his bike? But can. I well, I had to. I mean, if I the Can't bike would go. take me longer than the figure for sure. Or I think maybe anyway, it would take as long. So uh, 
yeah, compromises need to be made. So we want to wish everybody a very safe and happy New Year's Eve and New Year's. And the next time we see you guys, we will be in 2021. That's right. Yeah. It'll be an awesome year. Good things are coming. Good thing. Well, you know what? We're <coughs> we can only go up from here. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> so yeah, have a great rest of the year. Have a great New Year's. You know, uh, hopefully you guys have a great one. I'm like I'm talking in circles. I'm sorry. If you guys. haven't already, hit like and subscribe. <laughs> there you go. Uh Meredith, she's got the radio personality. All right. Anyway, have a great rest of the week. Thank you so much for coming and watching. I had so much fun with this one. It was it was an absolute blast. So uh, I'm glad that I ignored Meredith and just, you know, did Ghost Rider. Good night next week. Good night next week. All right. We'll see you guys next week. Have a great week. Happy New Year. And I don't want to say goodbye until I... Oh, there we go. Okay. Bye, guys. Say goodbye. Bye.